John 14, 11. I have to give you the next one. This is why you came. He said, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. And if that revelation is what cannot make you believe, he said, believe me for the sake of the results. Believe me for the work's sake. Results can make men believe God and believe you. Did you hear what I said? Results can make men believe God and believe you. We read John 15, 8 earlier on. Herein is my Father glorified when ye bear much fruit. Not just fruit, much fruit. Great results. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Hallelujah. Ordained you to go and bear fruit. 15, 16. And that your fruit should remain. Let me tell you the truth. Do not downplay results in this life. I know that you are here because you love Jesus, but you are also here because you have seen results. Results at the end of any and every argument. You can argue all you can, but not in the presence of results. Hallelujah. What is a prayer? Father, give evidence to my Christian experience. Did you hear what I said? Give evidence. I'm tired of running around telling people I'm a Christian. I'm tired of telling people I love you without proof. I'm tired of telling people I'm serving you without proof. I'm tired of telling people that I'm living for you. Father, give evidence to my Christian experience. Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my trusting you. Are you ready? Say, Father. In this season. In this season. Give evidence, give evidence to my Christian experience. My Christian experience. Results, results, genuine results. Genuine results. Open your mouth and pray. Bring me into a realm of authentic results. Give evidence. Give evidence. Are you praying? All the overflows, pray. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my live, my living for you. Sabras kabarakatos, krata kabarakata fras kabalakatos. In Jesus name in Jesus name I came angry tonight in my spirit because someone I, by the privilege of God's grace sir I've had the honor of taking care of a lot of families I have seen 25 year old widows with four or five children how long did the man live before dying absolutely nothing and they leave those people 25 28 four five children hallelujah how about your destiny helpers forgetting you you watch them on tv making pledges to people and yet you say uncle just to remind you that i'm still here say, okay you i will remember immediate once it is your own they forget are you ready for the book of remembrance to be open
just when they are dropping your CV on a man's table, someone will come and use your CV to wrap food with it. They are considering yours. They say, please pass me a piece of paper and it's your CV they carry and wrap food with it. And you sit down and you are shouting, thinking your CV is in the office, whereas it's in the bin somewhere. He said, the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Do you know why? He said, lest he dips his hand in iniquity. I've seen people who love God. They are not lazy, but they live their lives begging. They never get to a point where they can live a decent life. No, they beg. Their wives join them begging. Their children join them begging. Their grandchildren join them begging. Their entire lineage lives by begging. Shout no way. No way. One more time, shout no way. Whatever you permit, whatever you tolerate remains in your life. I'm saying this because everything that is not of God, it must let you go. Now, there are, there are families where the parents and the elderly people remain, but the children die leaving the parents. You see a family full of old people with no young man to help them. He said, I write these things to you fathers. I write these things to you young men. I write these things to you children. This is what makes a complete generation. There must be elders. There must be young men. There must be children. No generation is safe without elders. No generation is safe without young men. No generation is safe without children. When Satan wants to suspend continuity, he looks for one of these three. If he kills the elders, the young men will become foolish young men because no counsel. When he kills the young men, there will be no continuity because the elders will pass on one day and the children will not have a way to be trained well. When he kills the children, you will now see the spirit that was in Pharaoh and he was negotiating the exodus of God's people. Let some go and let some stay. And Moses said, you are joking, all of us, our wives, our children. In this place tonight, there are elders. In this place tonight, there are young men. In this place tonight, there are children. In fact, in this place tonight, there are babies. Our commission tonight is everybody must be free. There is nobody that is too young to be free. And there is nobody that is too old to be delivered. In one minute, I'd like you to pray. Every first time down my destiny, you must let me go now. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now very quickly I'm about to minister the deliverance power of Jesus. Please be silent everybody. If you are sitting, stand. If you are sitting, stand. Prophetic instructions are powerful because contained within them, as foolish as they may sound, is the power of God. I want you to please stand. Ushers, I want you to start bringing out the people who the power of God rests upon I'm ministering deliverance now. What is deliverance? Separating you from the spirits that plague you. Separating you from the conditions also. Not just spirits. Usually I will ask you to shout and you will shout. But God is telling me, be still and know. This is why I said just stand and keep quiet. Bring them out. You see, the way God walks is very mysterious sometimes may not make sense yes there are individuals and families right now is the fire of the spirit fishing out families whose destinies have been tied down yokes curses altars please bring them out no you will not be able to stand it you don't know what grace you are under please bring them as quick as you can all the overflows outside These things happen so that you will fear God. 
in a way that God is not a man. If God can say a thing like this and do it, then you will believe every prophetic word he brings on you. Please help the ushers. If they are limited, anyone close to them, let's just save time. There's a reason why I ask that you bring the people out. You're not shouting, you're not doing anything. You've done the prayer, now I'm praying for you. Yokes. Altars. I'm seeing fire like, like smoke rising. Rising from things that look like stones. The Lord is showing me a dark shadow. Shadow that has rested on families. Some for decades. And the Lord is saying this is the shadow that has covered the glory of many families. And the Lord is lifting it right now. He's lifting it right now. Bring them out. Lifting it right now. <laughs> lifting it right now. Please bring them. Now I'm seeing chains tying the feet of people. Feet means your movement. The Lord is taking away delay. I'm seeing delay. I'm seeing the number 25. Families, please bring them out. Delay, the spirit of delay that has tied down destinies. Bring them out. Da ka soni ka. Abane afi kodiya eh zaka. Abane afi kodiya shine zamba. Ta ra 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 ra. Hallelujah. I want to pray very quickly. You are still bringing a few more people out now. I'm seeing something tied around the stomachs of people. And I'm wondering what is this is? What, what the meaning of this is? And the Spirit of God is telling me that this is enchantment. This is witchcraft over many. It came through dreams and it has tied down many. This thing started from your dream. And then tied your destiny down from seeing yourself in secondary school to writing exams that never finish to things holding your destiny down right now be released be released bring them out be released be released by the power that raised Christ from the dead by the power that raised Christ from the dead by the power that raised Christ from the dead now hear me every family under any cause cause of untimely death cause of failure at the edge of breakthrough now you are going to shout Jesus with that one loud shout those altars must give way now are you ready one two three shout Jesus be released be released be released. Be released. Your family. Be released. Your business. Be released. Your destiny. Be released. Everything that concerns you. Hallelujah. What has buried the name of your family? 
the statement Ichabod that it cannot even be heard again. A family that was once great, known for greatness, but it looks like the devil has sat on your destiny. I'm talking to three people by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus right now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I declare, may that veil, may that veil be torn right now over your family. May that veil be torn right now over your family. May that veil be torn right now. Every month, you must treat sickness, mysterious sicknesses, eating up your finances, eating up your energy, your vitality. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that demonic authorization over your body is canceled now. Canceled now. The Lord is showing me a woman. You've not been able to meet your husband abroad because they've denied you visa. I don't know if there's such a person. I've prayed for a number of people with those cases, but the Lord is speaking to me about one. You've not been able to go and meet your husband. You are legally married, but you are unable to go and meet your husband because you've been denied again and again, and this has caused a lot of tension in your home. Wherever you are, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name that is above all names, we consult the greatest consular general and we declare by the spirit of the living God that this time around, may favor speak for you. May favor speak for you. May favor speak for you. I'm seeing someone here, your brother currently has been kidnapped. Your brother, you are aware, he's been kidnapped. You are trusting God for his release. I don't know if that person is in this place, else I'm going to speak. Your brother, this is what God shows me in a vision, is part of those that were kidnapped until now. He's not been released. In the name of Jesus, I use this vision as a point of contact to everyone who has been kidnapped by wicked men, by the power that raised Christ from the dead this week, not next week, this week, in the name that is above all names, we declare their release now. We declare their release now. We declare their release now. For everyone who is in front here brought by the Spirit of God, I decree and declare every spirit that has held you down, God brought you by himself. Right now be released. Right now be released. I decree and declare that as you rise, you step into a range, a, a level of strange testimonies. Strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Return back to your seat rejoicing. How many of you are trusting God for supernatural jobs? Just lift your hands and put it down. Let me see. If you don't believe, keep your hand down. You are trusting God that God between now and March, that God can open a stranger. Let me see your hands. I want to pray for you. The prophetic is very powerful. And that includes those from several nations. You've heard testimonies. You can stand for your brother. You can stand for your son. You can stand for your daughter. You can stand for your spouse. I decree and declare. I don't know who is trusting God for a job. For you, for your family. Or a change of job. Because some of you, what you are doing is not really a job. Anything that steals your spiritual life, destroys your health, causes enemies and multiplies your sorrow is not from God. Therefore, I decree between now and the next one month in the name that is above all names and by the power of prophecy from the east to the west, the north to the south, Nigeria and beyond, may God give you a strange testimony. May my God give you a strange testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel stirred in my spirit to speak over the overflow outside. The overflow outside. Please lift your hands. I want to pray for you. I'm praying for everybody. Everybody can tap. But I just sense in my spirit to speak over the overflow outside. Outside. Media, if you can help me. Let me speak over the overflow outside. Those outside, I want you to lift your hands. I don't know why God is asking me to speak Perhaps it is to connect with you, to let you know 
that distance is no barrier and it doesn't matter up basement all the other overflows you can connect by faith but i'm speaking particularly to those outside lift your hands those outside i want to pray for you and i want you to believe by the faith of the son of the living god that what god would do in your life will surprise you beyond your imagination father in the name that is above all names i pray for my people outside lift your hands and believe this is not entertainment believe believe the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established he said believe in his prophets so shall you prosper i pray for you everything that will make you laugh and celebrate between the next two weeks whatever it is by all godly means i declare may it happen for you everything that will make you celebrate ah sarah said all who hear this will rejoice with me i pray for you in the name of jesus between now and the next two weeks those outside but it applies to everybody whatever god must do to make you laugh i declare may it happen speedily speedily if it's a job may it happen speedily if it's your visa may it happen speedily if it's your house may it happen speedily the bible says despise not prophesyings despise not prophesyings still keep them i'm speaking to them i'm speaking to them why god is putting it in my heart to speak to them i'm speaking to those outside sometimes god moves like this to comfort us to help us see and know that distance is no barrier media are you helping me in the name that is above all names the oil of favor the oil of favor that can come upon a man's head that can come upon a man's hand that can come upon his feet and rewrite his story i stretch my hands first from outside and then to all connecting and to those connecting across the globe in the name of jesus listen i tell you with all humility and with every sense of regard to you and to god i know what favor is i know how it works i have seen what the favor of god can do this ministry is evidence that god's favor can rest upon a man it is such as i have in the name of jesus to those outside and whoever is tired of struggling moving from pillar to post and things are not working in ministry in finances i pray for you receive the oil of favor 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 everyone shout this after me say father every curse every enchantment every demonic arrangement orchestrated by men and by spirits against my life and my destiny let it be destroyed now open your mouth in one minute and pray every enchantment every curse orchestrated against my life against my advancement against my health against my prosperity by the blood of the eternal covenant be broken be broken be broken be broken may not take testimonies tonight but lay your hands i want to pray for you the stage is always yours every week you can register for your testimonies those online everyone please lay your hands you're standing in for someone in the next one minute i want to pray father in the name of jesus the son of the living god the one who died and resurrected in power and glory thank you for the power to heal the power to bring life even to the sick 
you gave us this noble instruction to heal the sick while we preach the kingdom and lord in honor and obedience to that call i stretch my hands right now over your people spread across this auditorium and its environs outside the many who are following online and the many who will hear this i'm praying in the name of jesus that every spirit that is responsible for infirmity every spirit responsible for sickness diseases of any and all kinds by the power that raised christ from the dead i cause the operation of those spirits from your body this moment in the name of jesus right now i stretch my hands be healed shout a believing amen. amen headaches be healed right now amen. eye conditions be healed right now amen. heart conditions be healed right now amen. blood conditions be healed right now amen. bone conditions be healed right now amen. organ failures let there be a brand new a reproduction of new organs in the name of jesus respiratory problems be healed now tumors and cancers be cursed now fibroids we curse you now gastrointestinal problems be healed now reproductory problems be healed now urinary problems be healed now respiratory problems be healed now digestive problems be healed now neurological problems be healed now in the name of jesus christ back pain be healed lumbar spondylosis be healed joint pains be healed we change genotypes right now from ss to aa from as to aa in the name of jesus christ ear conditions be healed now every prolonged pain in your body be healed in the name of jesus now whether i mention your case or not anyone appointed to death by sickness those following from hospitals clinics everywhere be healed right now i stretch my hands and i declare let the healing power of jesus from this ground through the airwaves let it flow to you right now i speak to someone you shall not die your health will not deteriorate it is cancer that will die it is hiv that will die it is tuberculosis that will die it is pile that will die in the name of jesus every mental health situation right here in nigeria across europe america canada asia be healed right now autism be healed right now if you are here you came with a wheelchair you came with a crutch or some walking aid for your feet your hands i declare be healed right now for every and any infirmity here at this miracle service we pronounce you healed we pronounce you whole we pronounce you perfected in the name of jesus you will search for that pain and not find it again you will search for that infirmity and not find it again i declare restoration to your health hallelujah in the name of jesus christ now i want you to lift your hands as i speak over you prophecy is the final or the second to the last atmosphere that is created for reception father i decree and declare over your people shame and reproach from this day comes to an end forever comes to an end forever I decree and declare wherever the helpers of your destiny are whether they are in Abuja in Lagos in the north the south east west Europe America far west wherever they are between now and the end of the month the month is not ended yet 
I gravitate them towards your destiny. Every long-standing issue you have prayed, you have fasted, it has refused to change. I release my faith with you and I declare this is the season of change for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord give you a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. For someone, God will take away sleep from your helpers like Ahasuerus and make them open the book of remembrance towards you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whoever must come into your life for your rising, wherever they are, may they come speedily. Everywhere your job is, may God locate you and take you there. Everywhere your finance is for this season, can I pray against the spirit of debt and borrowing? In the name of Jesus, anyone who is in a financial situation now, I give you one month by prophecy. May the God of all grace bring you out of it now. Every family that has not risen, you have not seen the hand of God, the testimony of God helping men. From your father to your mother to your siblings to you, every one of you in concert receives strange testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus, the gift that the Lord has put within you, I stir it up by the anointing and I declare, may it bring you profiting. 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 You profiting. What you have been looking for, I command it to start looking for you. Ah, 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 hear this one. What you have been looking for, may he start looking for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every confusion in your life, may the spirit of grace bring clarity to your life now. Everyone who is discouraged and downcast, you are wondering what will become of your life. I want to speak to you. In the name of Jesus, you will have the last laugh in this life. Anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death. I declare may death pass over you. May death pass over you. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the country. You are blessed in Abuja. Blessed in Lagos. Blessed in America. Blessed in UK. All over Europe. All over Africa. Return as a sign and a wonder. Return as a testament of God's favor. In the name of Jesus. Let me take a minute and speak over all who have sown seeds, giving, standing with us. I just felt stirred in my heart to do that. People give. The things that you see us do. It is based on the givings, the faithful givings of God's people. And I just felt stirred tonight to pray over everyone who has given, not just here in Nigeria, but across the globe, UK, America, Canada. People have given for our meetings coming. People have given even in the house. People have sown into my life as a man of God. I stretch my hands. God is not a fraudster. God is not a scammer. He doesn't play games with people. In the name that is above all names, you have sown to this ground. It is good ground. Therefore, receive a hundredfold harvest. Therefore, receive a hundredfold harvest. A harvest of prosperity. A harvest of wisdom. A harvest of helpers. A harvest of joy. A harvest of help. In the name of Jesus. May you never do anything alone in your life. God will raise people to stand with you. To stand by you. To stand for you. In the name of Jesus. Quarter to shame. May God raise helpers for you. 
Now let me speak over your spiritual life. Everything attacking your prayer life, attacking your word study life, attacking your zeal and your passion for spiritual things, it dies permanently right now. May your prayer life be fanned back to flames. May your word study life be fanned back to flames. May your passion for the house of God be fanned back to flames. May your appetite for spiritual things be fanned back to flames. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. Beulah and Hephzibah. You are like a well-watered garden. I call you a wealthy place. An oasis springing possibilities. In the name of Jesus. You will not beg and you will not borrow. Yet you will not lack. In the name of Jesus. These hands that are lifted remain lifted forever. They will not go down. The Lord is your shepherd. He will guide you in paths of righteousness. He restores your soul. In the name of Jesus. Your enemies will not see your back. Your enemies will not see your face. Their plans will end as vanity. But as for you, the Lord is your lifter. He will lift your head. He will give you speed. No delay. No retrogression. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Advance. Progress in destiny. And I pray for you, the kind of honor and favor you have never seen this week. May God bring this as a witness to your life. Wave your hands to Jesus. Give him all the praise. Wave your hands to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. In Jesus' name. Please rise as we close for tonight. Lord, we thank you for grace. Thank you for enablement. Thank you for visitations. Thank you for impartations. Our lives will never be the same, not after this encounter. I pray in the, in the name of Jesus that as you depart from here, go in the glory. Go with the favor of God. Go with testimonies following you. Go with good news following you. You will return a sign and a wonder to the glory of the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold hands with someone if you can find a hand to hold and we're going to pray in the spirit for a few minutes. We're going to declare by faith and agree that we're in a season of the performance of the word. Strange manifestations of God's power. Go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Take your eyes away from any challenge. Take your eyes away from any limitation. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Sate la caparandos kodobra de gebele kosiata. Make sure you are praying. Shkadeba lekete prandos kadeba la kosiata bash. Kratapa caparandes kadevereto shegete predigete balakatos. Elanda sadaba la kosha prakatos kadevrende gebele ketosha de geta. Shapra kata balagata paratos kate brande ke paleketo shata kratos ikete prande ke paratos kala prata kata prata kate paleketo prate ke paka shoda prata kata kembre kate balanda shapra kas kata parata kata prate kate paleketo prato koto shodos embre kate balasha te prakatos kade balados yata. There's victory in Jesus Christ. There's victory in Jesus Christ over pain, over shame, over oppression. Set your faith on fire as you pray in the spirit. Kembra da kaparatoshka lekrete vegete baladusiata. 
Every planting that is not of God must be uprooted today. Every sickness, every condition that is not of God must be uprooted. Sate pragate balakatosh afrandas kavene katosh like paosh ke baba baba kata parakatosh kate frati ke balatas em prakatosh alega prantes kadiva lasha da prakatosh yata. There's victory in Christ. There's victory in Christ. Parasha kete balakata frati se belegatia. Don't be tired. This is part of the miracle service. Sheke pakatoshka la brande ke baratoska di pratika baratus yata. Enge de belesh la kata fraska da balanda fraska de belesh. Kraga de belega de bakata fraska da baratos la kata prandes ke ne belega tos. Rakata prate ke paroska de fraksa se ke de belesh. Manda prata ka parakata ska de beleke to shalege bras Shege de beleke te pranta ka parus ka di balakos yata balatus yata Imbrakata paratus ka de prete ke te beleke to syata Shele bede ke te paratus yata balakos yata it is my season it is my season in the name of jesus i am after the order of the sons of issachar it is my season declare pray 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 let it be from the depth of your heart Iba shake it ever like a tapa kata pras kata bala katos mente pratos kate kata para kata frete kate bala kate prato katos prakete para kuski ata para katos yata that which is my portion in the spirit I obtain by faith that is which is my portion in the spirit and in destiny I lay claim by the power that is in the name of Jesus. Rakata palagata prateke de belekatas, rakas ka prateke de belekas koto fronto kos koto prateke de belek. Rakete bas kala baraka tos kate frante ge ba, lekete fraske de baresa de belekete. Shane meneke de prante sabalakata fraske de belekete. Shade ge de bereko shalakatos. Imbra kata parata kata frate kate pereke te prata kate lekata shaprante ke parus kate pras kate balakatos mente prantos koto prake te balakata pros kate ya mati prakatos kia te balakatos kapras kaparus kate frante ke parus kate lekate pras kate ba shaperes ke mente prata kata prate kate lekate pras kate kate sh imbra kate parus koto pros koto prate kate soto prate Ende beleke te fraske de balatos. One more minute. Sege te beleke te paroda si ata balakos. Shigete belegete braska de balakata parus. Shato brasko de brandi gete balakusi ata balada ba. Pray in your way to victory. Pray in your way to new dimensions. Pray in your way to higher levels in the spirit. Pray in your way into testimonies. The manifestations of the speakings of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, 
We're still going to pray one last prayer point before you be seated. I want you to mention everything that must live your life this night. Mention it by yourself as an act of faith. For those following, you can stand in for your children. Everything that is not in the word, everything that is inconsistent with the speakings of God, you are going to pray prophetically and declare that it lives finally. Go ahead and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. That barrenness situation, that situation of shame and reproach, limitation in progress, I declare and declare by the Spirit of the Living God, your end has come. Is someone praying? Thou shalt declare a thing and it shall be established unto you. Where the word of a king is, there is power. Decree and declare. Goodbye to shame, goodbye to reproach, goodbye to pain, goodbye to disappointment, goodbye to seeing and not handling. There must be a performance. 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 Goodbye to stagnation. Goodbye to fear. Goodbye to oppression. Goodbye to yokes and curses. Jesus name we pray for in Jesus name we pray Amen. Jesus the Son of God I believe in you from the depth Jesus, of your heart. The Son of God, the Son of God, I believe in you. Lord, I believe in you. One last time. of the living God you were sent by the Father to us you represent the ministry of his power in our lives and tonight we agree and we believe that your power will be made manifest in our lives Amen. Lord over many situations in this place let tonight bring the solution once and for all And for someone who is saying, Lord, are you able? Let me speak to your life that this God is a mighty God and he will surprise you tonight. <laughs> to someone who is saying, I shouted amen before and nothing happened. Let me declare over your life, tonight becomes your night. To someone who is saying, I celebrated the hand of God in others. 
and what their testimonies but i am yet to receive mine that seed you have sown your harvest is coming this night For someone who is saying, I'm even discouraged, I don't know whether to believe or not. In the name of Jesus, the mercy of God is speaking for you this night. And for someone who already saw this day in your dream and your vision, I declare that what you saw that is consistent with the will of God, tonight is the night when it manifests. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we give you all the praise. Indeed, let tonight be a miracle service. In Jesus' mighty, marvelous name we pray. Amen. Please be seated. The name of Jesus is mighty. The name of Jesus is matchless. The name of Jesus is all-powerful. You will experience that name tonight. I just want to charge our hearts. My spirit is really fired up. Um, Usually when God wants to provoke the anointing, he just imparts upon me the burden of many people's situations. And once that comes upon me, um, I am almost impatient as far as seeing the mighty hand of God manifest. Psalm 30, 11 and 12. Do miracles exist? Does God really move? Is it possible that God is able to turn a man's situation around? The Bible says, Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. I love verse 12. I've read this scripture many times, but the Lord gave me a powerful revelation. He said, To the end that my glory will sing praise to thee and not be silent. Oh Lord my God, I will give thanks to thee forever. He said, listen, I have been thanking you, but I want my results to also join you. He says, to the end that my glory, not just me, my glory, I long for my glory to also sing praises to you. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have turned my sorrow, or you have taken away sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Other versions will say you have turned my sorrow into joy. Listen, I want you to know and to believe that miracles do happen. I want you to believe that God is able to intervene over the lives of people. I want you to believe, please listen carefully, I'm staring your faith now. I want you to believe that signs and wonders are real. I want you to believe that new levels in the spirit and in destiny is possible. I want you to believe that God is able to make something that was not in your hand today to be in your hand the next moment. It is within the power of God. And I want you to believe that God is able to take something you did not want that the devil is forcing in your hand to live your life. I want you to believe that the power of God can transport things from the realm where they are hidden to the realm where they manifest in your life. You have to believe this. The life that we have been called into is a supernatural life. You must believe that God is able to save. Look at the testimony of that dear lady. Salvation, everyone someone who had been plagued with drugs smoking and doing all of this and she not only had an encounter that encounter spilled over to all her loved ones that is the power of god i have seen the power of god in my life i would be a liar if i told you that i had not seen certain dimensions of god i have seen god's strange visitations I have seen the power of God in this ministry. What God is doing today is a testament of his power. My assignment tonight is to stand in partnership with the Holy Spirit 
to the end that the power of God be made manifest in your life in a way that is unmistakable. There are things that happen and you can doubt. Maybe it was God, maybe it was this. But there are things that happen. You stand and you know that this one, it was only God. Hallelujah. But I want you to believe. Do you know, most believers, the only reason why they clap over the manifestation of miracles is just that the testifiers are before them. But if they were left to the question, can God do this? They may just laugh. Part of the advantages of being spiritual is that your faith becomes so built that you can believe God for anything. Listen, this is my Bible. You see, when the Bible speaks as a parable, it will tell you it was a parable. Are we together? When the Bible speaks as something that actually happened to men, to cities, the Bible will state it very clearly. Read the Bible and see the awe-inspiring, fearful things that were done by the power of God. They were not parables. By this time tomorrow, it was not a parable. The Red Sea parting. Forget all the arguments that, you know, all of these arguments that people bring around. Let God be true and every man a liar. How about a 25-year-old barrenness situation in the Bible? that was turned around overnight. How about resurrection? How about all kinds of miracles? Impotent folks, folks that were, were left for dead. How about demonic oppressions? One of the women that worked in the welfare department of Jesus' ministry, he had to cast seven demons out of her. How about Lazarus? How about the fig tree that would take from the earth and yet not bring fruit? He cursed it physically and by the next day it had withered. How about ravens that brought bread for Elijah at Brook Cherith? How about five loaves and two fish that fed 5,000 people? Sometimes it's not just a new job you need. You need a miracle of favor. As simple as that. <laughs> Hallelujah. How about Elijah running on barefoot and overtaking the chariots of Ahab down to Israel? Except you are not a Christian. How about people mocking God, keeping the ark of God close to Dagon and locking the door? They left the altars alone and by the next day Dagon fell forward to the ground. What altar cannot fall? There was no man of God who was preaching and praying and saying Dagon fall. They just left two of them. How about angels that threw hailstones and killed hundreds of thousands of people overnight? How about Saul who encountered Samuel the prophet and returned back meeting all kinds of miracles waiting for him? Do you not believe the Bible? There is nothing in your life today by the authority of scripture I tell you this. There is no situation here represented, no matter how complicated, that is worth making God scratch his head and saying, we've never seen this kind. We're talking about the God of the Bible. Is it your bills? Is it a medical condition? You've heard of God healing people here. Listen, I'm not inhuman. I understand that in the presence of painful situations, whether medical, whether financial, the truth is that these things can convey a level of pain that you can feel. If you are told you have cancer, or if you are told you have um, some kind of sickness, the pain is there, the growth is there, the lump is there. You, come, you came with someone who is mad, the madness is there. The person is misbehaving, you are seeing the person. If it's a demonic pattern over a family where nobody rises, you can clearly see it. But the Bible says, while we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen, 
Unseen does not mean unreal. You can look at invisible things. Right now, while you are seated, you can look at the healed you or you can continue looking at the sick you. You can look at the you with an employment with dignity and honor or you can look at the you that is supposedly miserable and helpless. The Bible leaves us with the liberty to be able to look at the things seen and the things unseen. It takes the eyes of faith to see through the lens of scripture that I may be sitting right now as a tenant or not even knowing where my rent will come from. But I know, I know, I know that there is a God in heaven who can turn things around. I may be sitting holding a medical report right now. Look at the lady. Three months, they said. After three months, you are gone. And it's been only God knows how long. I believe in Jesus. I believe in his power. I believe that he heals. I believe that he prospers. I believe that he delivers. I do. I believe that he's able to give speed. I believe that he's able to restore. Please look up. I believe he's able to bring laughter. I believe that God is able to save whole families within a moment. I truly believe it. I would be wasting your time here if I didn't believe it. I believe it. Onisha, Iyanu, you're the God of awesome wonders, tasted of your power. Onisha, you have shown me so much mercy. Listen, I am a student of the miraculous and I'm a student of the power of God. By the privilege of God's grace and with every sense of humility, I live my life learning Jesus, learning his ways, and that includes learning the supernatural. And any material I can find that can help guide my understanding to understand the realm of the spirit better and the operation of God's power, I would plunge and throw myself into it. I can tell you this. Please look up. In my life and from my study of scripture and even observing people who have worked marvelously in the power of God, there has always been two major ingredients as far as the administration of the power of God is concerned. Please listen carefully. Number one, you have to believe that God is able. As simple as it sounds, you can remain forever and never see the outstretched arm of God if you do not believe. The Bible demands faith for the supernatural to be released. The Bible demands faith. Let me add, responsible faith. There is irresponsible faith. The faith that allows God and says, God, you have to do everything. But there is responsible Bible faith. Father, you have said this. I have found it. So there's no need asking, is it your will? I have found it in your word. If you find it in his word and by the witness of the spirit, it is unwise to be asking if it is his will. It's unwise to ask whether it's his will for you to be blessed. It's unwise to ask whether it's his will for you to have peace. It's unwise to ask whether it's his will for you to be healed. It is unwise and even unscriptural to ask whether it is his will for you to live long. I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Jeremiah 29, 11 said the Lord, they are thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end. Are we together? The word of God is the basis of God's commitment to the believer. I have taught you this. And it matters that you find it. Please look up. Many believers cannot tell you why they think God will meet their needs. If I ask the average believer now, what is the basis of your confidence as to the fact that God is going to change this medical report? As wonderful as it is to say, oh, Joshua Selman is around. I know he's a powerful man of God. You are not wrong, but that is not the scriptural basis. 
have you found it he opened the book and he found where it was written concerning him hallelujah if you stand to fight poverty the devil has a right through that spirit to say I will not leave he has a right to ask you by on what basis should I leave this family I am tired it's not a wise answer I hate poverty it's not a wise answer the Word of God says ah I love the Word of God now when you bring what the Word of God says it, it brings an end to the discussion are we together now yes let them sing for joy they that favor my righteous cause yea let them say continually the lord be magnified which had pleasure in the prosperity of his servant end of discussion okay is this why i should leave this family i have lived here for 150 years turning every great person into a pauper now you can say my case must be different and the basis is that this is what is written i have found it now the ministry of the holy spirit is at work because the word of god has been revealed i am tired i think i don't like this this is unfair life is not treating me right those things are emotionally consoling but in the realm of the spirit they wait up they weigh absolutely nothing the realm of the spirit does not respond to pain or tears or emotions or sympathy please listen carefully the realm of the spirit does not respond to tears or pain or sympathy or emotions it responds to the word of god the word of god is the basis for action i am the lord that he led thee Therefore, this growth, what are you looking for in my body? In the name of Jesus, you must go. You must leave. Are we together? Yes. Why do you believe that you will not be mediocre? That you will rise and God will honor you? Deuteronomy 28, 1 and 2. It shall come to pass, if thou shalt diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to do, to observe and to do all his commandments which I commanded this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee high above all the nations of the earth. Listen, this scripture will never come to pass in your life if you do not find it and believe it. Next verse, verse 2. And all these blessings, the blessings are not few. All these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord. I may not come from a family with any advantage, you will say, but in the name of Jesus, I believe that I am blessed. I believe that I am blessed. This is not a Pentecostal charismatic jumping up and down. This is a, a scriptural protocol to commanding the attention of God. You are too big to agree with God. You will never receive anything from heaven. I believe God. I believe God. In the name of Jesus. A thousand shall fall by my side. Ten thousand by my right side. None shall hurt me. With my eyes will I see and behold the reward of the wicked. The lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. Are we together now? That kings shall entreat my favor. I believe it. What does it mean to believe? To believe does not mean to merely agree. Uh -uh. To agree with God and meditate upon his promise until you find the participatory role that you have to play. Until you find your part in that faith equation, you are not believing properly. Most people will tell you, I am believing God. I am believing God to prosper me. And you tell them, okay, so what is the basis of your believing God? The word of God says, I will prosper. Wonderful. What else? That's it. God said it. I believe it. That settles it. Respectfully, that will not work that way. No. God said it. You believe it. You find out what he said you should do. To activate what he has said and then you obtain grace to do it consistently that is what settles it so if for instance I tell someone in the name of Jesus be healed and you are having 
maybe headache or whatever it is or a growth and I said do what you couldn't do before as an act of faith and you say listen I know this I'm already feeling the pain the pain it is is partial paralysis or stroke or something wrong with my back believe me even if it were Jesus Christ who stands here and is done with his preaching you will be surprised that we will share the grace and you will live and nothing will change just because the power of God is present does not mean it will heal you the power of God is present to heal those who believe that God is able to heal them hallelujah is someone learning Apostle, my own is that I need a prophetic declaration over my life. I feel like there is a closed heaven over me. Now when the word of God comes, in the name of Jesus, may your heavens be open. You casually say amen and then you just laugh at yourself. And the devil says, thank God you know that nothing will happen. And you guess right, absolutely nothing will happen. Even if you fall under the anointing, you will be surprised that you will stand up and nothing will change. Falling under the anointing is not the condition for reception. Believing the word of God is. Those things are just effects of spiritual activities happening to you. Every one person who stands here to testify had to do the job of believing at a point. Lord, I believe you. You will hear them say this. Some of them had dreams. Some of them had visions. But they had to take responsibility to say, I believe. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Hear me. The day you actually believe that you will never be down in life, that is the day you leave the ground forever. The day you really believe it, that it becomes spirit and life. The day you believe that it's not in your prophetic destiny to be poor. I'm not talking of this canal I will be rich with a heart that does not love God. I'm talking about a heart that knows the role of poverty in destroying God's purposes and the role of prosperity in advancing the purposes of God. There is something about conviction Look on us. And he looked, expecting to receive something. In other words, if Peter and John dare walk away without a miracle, that man would have responded to them and said, I am lying down crippled, but two of you are false prophets because I believe you. The Bible says he looked at them expecting to receive. Peter said, silver and gold I do not have. He said, uh-huh, I'm still listening. What do you have? And then he says, such as I have. You know, Peter's humility was very clear. He admitted that there were some things he did not have. Are we together? But he also acknowledged that there were some things that he had. I submit to you by the grace of God. We may not claim to have everything, but there are some things we have. As far as addressing your situation is tonight, there are some things by the grace of God that can put an end to that shame and reproach. Yeah. Hallelujah. When you read that scripture, the Bible says, he said in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. I know the Bible is written in summary. And so you would think that in chapter 3 and verse 6, he just jumped up. No, he remained there. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Peter was surprised. John was surprised. The man was surprised. There was no miracle. Yet the power of God was still there. Yet the word of God was there. The same way it has happened since March. By God's de design. You were not supposed to be writing that prayer request again. But there is something you did not do in March. There's something you did not do in April. There's something you did not do in May. I pray you do it this night. Yeah. Are we together? And the Bible says, give us verse 7, that he took him by the hand and lifted him up. And immediately, 
when did his feet receive what part of his body received <laughs> that means every part of your body is a receiver depending on your action it was not just his hand that received his ankle bones received your head can receive your heart can receive are we together now he lifted him you would think the bible says and his hand no the power of God made contact or the, the, the apostle's hand made contact with his hand. But the miracle was not needed at the hand. His ankle bones received. His finances received. The situation, that means I can speak over your life. It does not matter through what entrance the power of God gets to you. The most important thing is that it must go to the area that needs to receive strength, receive life. I can declare over your life in the name of Jesus, be blessed. And for someone, that word will go straight to your finances because that is the area that needs strength. For someone, that area, it will go and scatter an altar somewhere that will not let people rise. His ankle bones receive strength. And the Bible says, he leaping stood. Please give it to us. He leaping stood up. The man made efforts. The Bible does not tell us whether he still felt pain as at the time he was standing. But it's safe to assume that he still felt pain. But the Bible says the man leaped and stood. And immediately he walked. The dynamics of Bible faith it will always take faith to activate the supernatural the supernatural does not just work because God is able and God is powerful you need faith hallelujah for someone on hearing a prophetic word about increase the Spirit of God will speak to you go and register a company by tomorrow you may not have enough money for business but go and look for a lawyer register a company by faith When we say lay your hands, it's not a ritual. You lay your hands there. I'm feeling this pain, but in the name of Jesus, you are about to leave. This breast lump, you are a devil, you must leave. Ignore the pain and believe in Jesus. You are looking at the things that are unseen. And the power of God will come through the channel of your faith. And all of a sudden, you will hear testimonies. Testimonies. Just like a dream. He said, you have turned my morning to dancing. This is the dynamics. Faith. Faith. Faith in Jesus Christ. You must believe. You must believe. And you must act. Pay attention to instructions when the anointing of the Spirit is in a place. Because your miracle can be one instruction away. Shout Jesus. You just feel, what is it about Jesus? I said it this morning. Under what kind of influence? Are we together? Imagine if Joshua told them, shout over Jericho, Tehillah, that sound. And they said, listen, we are not stupid people. Do you know what it means to go around seven times? Jericho was not like a small shop that you would go around. Going around in the hot sun seven times. And he said, with every energy you have, shout. Let me tell you the truth. You would be lying to imagine those people did not imagine themselves being stupid. If at the fourth or fifth time the fence started cracking, that will help your, your faith. Because you say, wow, the gate is opening. Uh, let's shout. Anybody will be motivated. Spiritual things look dead even to the last second. Now, man. Go and bath seven times. Number four, he came out. I could imagine Naaman looking at the slave girl with anger. I will kill Elisha if after seven times I actually come out of this water. You know what it means to be leprous and yet imagine a very dirty river. Number five, he came out. Nothing. Number six, he came out. Nothing. And then he went at the seventh time. The power that had always been there rested upon him. As soon as he came out, the Bible says his skin was like that of a baby. Amen. 
Are we together? How about Elijah and the prophets of Baal? Elijah said, call upon Baal. And they called from morning till the time of the evening sacrifice. And then Elijah put the altar, Elijah put the altar together. And then he called upon the Lord. You thought that he would not doubt in his heart. You are joking. He was human. God, please show up. And you thought you would hear a sound. And then all of a sudden, like it will happen to you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. seconds does it take a text to enter your phone that is how fast it takes the power of God to get to your life science has shown us how fast the power of God can be that I can send the text now and in a fraction of a second someone's phone will be beeping in the US in Europe if 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 technology can capture the realm of the spirit and make it so scientific can you imagine that I can send you a text and after 10 seconds if you've not received it I become impatient because it's not supposed to be that long how much more the power of God see some of you have waited too long you, you have not been angry enough that's why believe what I'm telling you you send an SMS to someone and after 10 seconds, it's not gone. You send it again. You send it again. After one minute, five minutes, as short as five minutes, you've lost patience because the accuracy should not allow for that kind of thing. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh. The covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Listen, I have taught you and I understand there is the law of process where God leads you gradually, sequentially into your destiny. But there are many things that are demonic and there are many situations that have not manifested because of the irresponsibility of the saints. You are not yet tired of that situation to place a demand. I want you to use this text example right now and say, Lord, a human being, not even born again, sent an SMS with a phone that was made scientifically and in a moment it got to me. What makes you believe God cannot reach you? When they called you this morning, did your phone not ring? Out of them, were you, were you the only one being called? Many people were called, but your line, it was distinct to you. There may be thousands of people here and following all over the world, but I want you to assume you are the only one in this place. That is the spirit of faith. It's not being selfish. Lord, I thank God for my brothers and sisters, but I came here for you. Give me an encounter. Your favor is real. Let it speak over my life. I'm tired of this level. The devil will give you excuses. Who knows you? The devil will give you excuses. Are you not holding a medical report? The doctor who treated you, is he not a Christian? I want you to stand by faith and believe. You have to make up your mind. I'm tired of this situation. It must let me go in the name of Jesus. Tired of tears, tired of shame, tired of reproach. Hallelujah. Now listen. So I told you there are two keys. To experiencing the power of God number one is your faith number two listen carefully number two is the anointing of the Holy Spirit there are many times people do not receive frankly speaking not because they do not have faith but the vessel that God is using has not built capacity in the spirit through death to the flesh 
through the sacrifice of consecration through impartation through intelligence to rise to a level of the anointing that can solve the problems of the people it's true hmm. listen there are different tanks tanks t-a-n-k-s tanks that we put water we have different calibrations to them they are small tanks medium giant tanks if you have a small tank it can only serve a few people so the problem is not the the tap the problem is that the tank that is connected to the tap are we together can only give its limit is that true so there are times the problem is not the tap the tap is ever ready to be opened but the major problem is the tank the capacity of the vessel is small not the capacity of God remember I taught you that spiritual resources flow from God through men through a vessel that is the reason why God continues to work on us vessels so that our capacity is enlarged so that if there is anything that your level of spiritual development could not capture from heaven to release to God's people, by the next time you show up, you would have grown an expanded capacity. It means that there are many men of God and many spiritual leaders that God will judge them because God will say someone's healing. This person kept believing. But the problem was not the person's lack of faith. The problem is you as the man of God refused to grow in a greater level of the healing anointing so that you are able to solve the problem. I have told you that the anointing works like money. If you have a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars is about 69, 70,000 and you have 70,000 Naira. If someone is hungry, you don't need to be afraid because for a, 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 a regular, you will be able to buy something within that amount. But if what the person needs is a vehicle, you will need maybe five million plus and the rest to get the car. Now, you have money, but your money is too small relative to the need of the person. Are we together now? Yes. Let me illustrate something and I begin to pray. Let me have, who can I have? Come, my friend, any gentleman? The gentleman on black, don't worry, you sit. Come, let me use him. Watch this, watch this. Now. Let's assume this, my dear one here, came with all kinds of issues. Financial issues, please look up. Headache, for instance, are we together? Family problems, yokes, curses. He came to Koinonia for miracle service, expecting to receive. Now, this guy is full of faith. He's believed God and he's believed God's servant. So he's done his own part. Are we together now? Every problem in this man's life has a dimension of the anointing that solves it, just like money. Are we together now? So let me just use money for an example. I hope you will not be confused. Let's assume that, just for example, it takes 1,000 naira worth. Do you understand what I'm teaching you now? 1,000 naira worth of anointing, just for want of expression and it takes 5,000 naira worth to heal his hand. Are we together? To deal with the causes and the yokes, the administration of it now may take maybe 1 million naira worth and to speak favor in his life may require 1 billion naira worth. Watch this. If my worth in terms of anointing is 500,000, and if I pray for this guy, it is only the condition that is below the level of anointing I carry that will be solved. So I can pray for him, be healed, cause his leave, financial doors be open, favor come. He can't get favor. It takes one billion. Now I've spoken what is above my level of grace. The Bible says minister according to the measure of grace. That means you have to know what you carry and what it can do before you speak. So I prayed over five things in the man's life. He will return with a testimony. The headache was healed. What about the financial situation? Nothing really happened. How about favor? Well, we're still believing God. Who failed here? The vessel. I will be too proud to admit it usually. Just give a flimsy excuse. It's not God. Let God be true and every man a liar. Now watch this. 
if I go and stay in the place of prayer, in the place of the word, and through impartation, I now grow from 500,000, and by next miracle service, I return with 50 million. You see that? Worth of anointing or dimension of the anointing. Because of that size of the anointing, there are things I will not even pray for. You see that? Immediately, they are too low relative to what you carry. It will leave, believe me. Now, many things will change in his life except that favor dimension because favor will require that one billion dimension. I will go back again. Otherwise, what is the value of growing in grace? I now grow in grace. Learn from those who have gone ahead. Receive impartation. Stay with God. And then I rise to a point where I am five billion worth of anointing. Now, let me show you how I will, I will be a blessing. Let's assume this guy were meeting me for the first time. And all his problems are less than one million. In a moment, in the name of Jesus, that will be it. So a man like Baba Deboe can stand and say in the name of Jesus. You now see what is happening. Nothing much. But the problem is not just the speaking. It's the size of the grace that is addressing the issues. Apostle, what are you saying? Is this scriptural? Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. How God anointed Jesus. Why would Jesus need to be anointed? How God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power, he went about on the strength of that lavish anointing. There were some things that the disciples could not do at some point in their lives. But then eventually when they encountered power, listen, did you see the progression even of Peter's life? When Peter got filled with the Holy Ghost, his shadow could not heal. He was standing near the guy at the beautiful. He had not gotten to that size of the anointing. So he had to prime his faith and hold his hand. But Peter got to a point where people lined up. He did not speak. It was his shadows. If it is true that we are growing in the spirit, that means a testimony that did not happen to you last month should be able to happen to you this month. That is why it is unfair and dangerous for a man of God to remain at the same spiritual level whereas activities just keep happening because you will be wasting the time of God's people and sooner or later they will discern that you have reached your limit spiritually. They will respect you but they will leave you and go and look for what works. Members and human beings are not stupid. They, God has put this spiritual instinct in them. They can gauge the size and the level of what anointing is confronting their situation. And when they know that this situation that is plaguing this family is 10 billion naira worth of the anointing, you come with 250,000, they will respect you just so that you will not um, feel bad. But they will quietly go and look for solutions. There were certain things I would never have seen in my life years ago because the level of grace that comes through knowledge, through impartation, through understanding, through encounters was not there to that degree. But thank God growth is a possibility in the kingdom. The version of you that started this year should not be the version of you that came. It will be evil of you if the, or evil of me if the level of anointing I came with last miracle service is still the same level of anointing I'm coming with now, what then was the need for putting a new one? But thank God that grace can be multiplied. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. How God empowered Koinonia how God anointed Joshua Selman with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all. You see, when we know this, huh, it will grant us the humility to keep growing regardless the results we see. This is one of the most uncomfortable messages you will hear as a man of God because it puts a lot of the responsibility over people's lifting on you. 
because most people believe that they left their home to come is enough faith that they defied the rain and stayed from morning there are people who were here as early as 7 10 12 what demonstration of faith is greater than that let me assure you tonight that you will not be disappointed I'm taking out time to charge your heart because I want us to take all the limitations away so that we will allow the power of God to step in. You may be like this gentleman. You came with several prayer requests. You came with several needs. Please have no fear. God is alive. And he will visit you at the point of your needs. Let me talk about something one more minute. How do you know God has visited you? Number one. By faith in the integrity of his word. And then number two, by a performance. Blessed is she that believes for unto her. So it does not just stop at believing. How do I know God has visited me? Number one, I believe based on the integrity of his word. But number two, I believe because there will be a performance, a manifestation. How do I know God has healed me? Number one, because I know that he heals. But number two, because I know the pain has gone. Not just by faith as we call it, gone, like it's gone. How do I know the grace for favor has come upon me? Number one, I believe it because the word of God says it. But number two, my phone begins to be full of mysterious calls from people, where are you? There has to be a physical performance. Hallelujah. Thank you. How do I know that the barrenness situation has gone? Number one, because of the integrity of the word of God. But number two, my stomach will start protruding. Is that true? You are a woman and your stomach will protrude and they will tell you it's a child there, yeah, not that it's a growth. And after nine months, you give birth. Now you know the word of God has come. How do I know God has visited my finances? One, because the word of God says so. Number two, because supernatural wisdom and favor comes upon me. The anointing will make me start thinking in a certain way. The anointing will manage my belief systems to start thinking consistent with the way of one who produces wealth and then programming a climate of favor around my life. How do I know speed has arrived in my life? Because the word of God says so. But number two, be between now and the end of September, I will see God do things that he did not do in the last five, six years together. Do you believe what you are hearing? How do I know my prayer requests have been answered? It's not just because Joshua Selman knelt down and spoke over it. No, the word of God says so, one. But number two, I keep a copy of what I submitted here. And watch the faithfulness of God Lord I agreed for a job and by Monday someone calls you and said I'm sorry I would have given you since July I forgot now you know the book of remembrance has been opened you now take it the Lord spoke to me to pay your rent for three years before you get established now you know favor has arrived How do you know that a new anointing has come upon your life? Number one, the word of God says so. But number two, you will begin to see results. Results that were not in your frame of reference before now. As a man of God, you begin to see results. Supernatural manifestations of the power of God. Dramatic things that only God can do through men. Koinonia, I pray for you. May this be your portion this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Commanding results in the kingdom is not rocket science. 
the grace of God has demystified these things so that the saints will understand hear me God is glorified when we rise give us some 30 again now you will understand it says that my glory will praise you I can praise you even without results but I need my glory to praise you thou has turned for me my mourning into dancing thou has put off my sackcloth and guarded me with gladness verse 12 it says give us verse 12 please to the end that my glory that means as you are worshiping your car outside is also worshiping as you are worshiping the baby is also worshiping your results should also worship God this is why we are here tonight and if you are coming here for the first time you are welcome you will know that you came to a place where God dwells because my God will surprise you this night so what is God doing tonight one he's healing two he's bringing deliverance three he's bringing breakthroughs Number four, he's bringing restorations. Do you believe this? Number five, I believe he's opening the book of remembrance. Listen, God never forgets, but men can forget. And it is equally dangerous when men forget you. Hallelujah. The Bible says the keeper of Israel, he neither sleeps nor slumber. Look at the gentleman who gave his testimony. I hope when you listen to these testimonies, you are learning from them. Now, the man told him, I have signed the contract. And yet the man forgot. The same way somebody thought that it was you he blessed and forgot. He must remember this night in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere your portion is hiding in this city and in this nation in the name of Jesus if you believe it I declare over you by the God who called me he must look for you in the name of Jesus please sit down I believe this oh I believe this let the atmosphere of faith help that lady under the anointing Please participate in everything we are doing tonight. Don't waste your time. You came here since morning. Don't just watch others and clap. When we are saying shout Jesus, when, when the power of God is moving, touching people, don't just be passive and you are watching and saying, wow, it was a powerful service. That's not what you came to do. This is not a cinema. This is not a museum. You came because there are some things that must give way. You came because your ministry, the mockery and the shame around your ministry, as though God did not call you. You came to encounter grace that will rewrite the narrative of your ministry. So if you're a man of God, a woman of God, don't sit down as if the anointing is not available for you to receive. If ye being evil, know how to give good gifts. God is a giver. Did you hear that? God is a giver. Let me give you one prayer point. Father, my portion in life and destiny, my prophetic portion, I receive it in the name of Jesus. It must gravitate towards my life. Please open your mouth and pray. That portion of grace allocated for my efficiency. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you. God is able to make all grace abound towards you.
let me add one more prayer point father let me enter my season of results that my hand will hold something a season of results please open your mouth and pray my season of results let my life capture your faithfulness everywhere pray you are following online pray a season of the performance tired of being at the same level A testimony give me a testimony give me a testimony I need a consolation to my Christian experience in the name of Jesus put a new song in my mouth a, a song of praise to our God that many will see and fear and put their trust in you let my life carry the evidence of being a child of God let my life carry the evidence of being a favored one let my life carry the evidence of carrying the mantles and the graces that you have given me Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. We do not serve God just because of results. We love him more than that. However, however, there are many people whose knowing God depends on your results. Are we together? When Peter stood before the Jerusalem council in defense of the miracle that happened, the Bible says the man who was healed was standing with him. It is one thing to declare Jesus based on the authority of scripture, but it's one thing to declare Jesus in the presence of your evidence. You are a true witness when your evidence is there. You can tell people God lifts and they will believe but when you are lifted and you say God lifts it will be stupid to doubt you this is what I'm praying because see many of you you're promoting the purposes of God is not efficient because the evidence that you need as a man of God you can't keep telling people God opens doors they keep shouting amen indefinitely they are human they will be tired do you mind praying this prayer one more time Father, in the name of Jesus, let my life command an evidence. The proof of your faithfulness seen in my life. The proof of victory seen in my life. The proof of favor seen in my life. The proof of intimacy with the Holy Spirit seen in my life. my life. Sin in my life. Give me a change of story. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We're going into the ministry of the Spirit right now where God is going to be visiting us. I want you to believe. When it's time to pray for the sick, I want you to open up your heart. You came with a sick person. When it's time to receive that miracle, I want you to receive with all your heart. 
and when we instruct you to check yourself and you find out the power of God has touched you you make your way very quickly here and we'll be ministering deliverance listen the Word of God is the conveyor of his power so for every word that comes like never before receive it with understanding and intention I know what God has shown me about the kind of people he's raising I know what God has told me as we pray preparing for this many of you have traveled from across literally nations across the globe several regions within this nation God will not gather you like this to waste your time hallelujah and as I begin to minister in the spirit don't worry just allow me do my crazy things here I'm walking with the spirit the way God walks by now you know it does not make sense but provided is consistent with his character and it produces results sometimes the ways of the spirit is like the way of the wind you cannot tell where it cometh and where it goeth but one thing you cannot deny is the signature of God's power upon it there are prophetic actions that will come sometimes they may not make sense be flexible and be childlike enough to believe the Lord. Hallelujah. This is koinonia. Hmm. Please stand, just remain silent. I'm not making an altar call. It is the power of God that is going to be moving. And please ushers, now let me just say this, whether you are an usher or not, our ushers are limited, there are thousands of people here and all across. Um, anyone who is under the anointing close to you, if I ask you to bring them, please just bring them out so that we'll hurry up. It is my prayer that everybody will receive maximally within the limited time that we have. I don't intend to keep us too long, but I want that God will grant us grace to do so much. Hallelujah. When God speaks like this, it is because there is something that he's doing. Hallelujah. Are we together? So after the first shout, there will be a shout of a lady. And then after that, the power of God will start moving to specific people. And what I am seeing in the spirit, I'm just seeing like a cloud about to rain. And that's what God is doing to these families that he's single-handedly bringing out. Bring them out now. Please bring them out. My restorer has won my battle for me. My lifter has won my battle for me. The God of lifting has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, a winner man. He's won my battle for me. My restorer has won my battle for me my redeemer has won my battle for me i'm a winner man a winner man i'm a winner man a winner man let me tell you what is happening to these families that god is singling out i saw a cloud and the Bible says if the cloud be full of rain, there is a strange visitation to bring testimonies. The power of God is still moving on those families. You're not shouting, you're not doing anything. Just this is the instruction God is giving me. It's impossible to stand if the hand of God is upon you in that family. Let captivity be turned around. Let 
It's a miracle service. God is bringing to end captivity. Opening the gates of heaven. Ah, it's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. It's coming to an end. Surely there is an end. It is coming to an end. It is coming to an end. Shame coming to an end. Reproach coming to an end. God of lifting has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. The God of favor has won my battle for me. Number two, tonight's miracle service is very strange. I'm seeing a bunch of keys that is being handed over to people in the spirit. Now hear me. It is coming like fire on people's hands. I want you to bring them out. Key stands for access. There are people who have not been able to access certain dimensions. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring them out. Access. God is giving you access. Access to realms. Access to things. Access to treasures of your destiny. Among our viewers, the Lord is showing me someone you are following from the US. You are sitting on a couch, you and your children, girls, in the name of Jesus Christ. You are part of those that God is giving this access to. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I am praying for you right now as God is doing it here. Listen, without a key, even when there is a door, it will not open. By this key that God is giving, he's swinging open doors. I'm still praying again. The fire of God is still visiting people. Opening doors by this key that he's given. Very strange manifestation of doors opening for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's very strange how God is operating tonight. I'm looking in a vision and this is what I'm seeing. Please listen. I'm seeing a woman who is pregnant and lying down like on a bed in a labor room, but she's not giving birth. I know this is a prophetic statement. There are some of you after nine months a woman should give birth but there are some of you spiritually financially pregnancy actually happened but now to give birth to the testimony something is stopping it i'm going to pray for you the power of god is coming on you it's time to give birth prophetically giving birth to dimensions of grace and i'm praying right now in the name of jesus everyone who is part of this vision i saw of this pregnant woman in the name of Jesus I stand as a prophetic midwife I command your prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery right now Prophetic delivery right now by the Spirit and the power of God. Prophetic delivery right now. Now, please hear me. People usually run when I pray for speed, but people are going to be running, but for a different reason now. 
it is not just for speed I want you to be sensitive it is not just for speed it is still the same running but the Spirit of God is speaking to me hallelujah this running prophetically is a sign of deliverance leaving the place of pain into the place of glory leaving the place of shame into the place of dignity I'm going to stretch my hands now the power of God will come on many people and they will start running hold them gently and just bring them out I decree and declare even as God has revealed to me I release that grace right now be separated right now be separated right now be separated right now be separated right now from any obstacle any condition Bring a pakoskete bata, bringing you shame and reproach. Be separated right now. Open your mouth and begin to declare in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. I prophesy a separation by the Spirit of the Living God. Hallelujah. Who is Matilda? I'm hearing a name Matilda Matilda this should be a lady's name Matilda this is what I'm hearing I'm hearing a name Matilda please be sensitive we're going to pray Matilda the Lord is bringing a visitation to Matilda and her family who is victory I'm hearing the name victory not Victor victory ends with a Y victory in the name of Jesus Christ there is a strange visitation that is coming for that person please don't don't just come out at random let's let's be sure that victory what's your name my dear hallelujah now I'm going to pray for people but I'm seeing a woman a lady you had a miscarriage last week you had a miscarriage last week please help them you had a miscarriage last week I don't know where that person is but I want to pray for you now victory you have victory I'm seeing oil being poured on two of you I'm going to pray for everybody but I'm seeing oil right now and the Lord is I'm with that oil I'm seeing something leaving your body this is what I'm seeing in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands over the victory that has come out by the power of the Holy Spirit first two of you before I pray I command right now in the name of Jesus by this oil and this mantle upon you every demonic thing every embargo sitting upon your destiny I cast it out of you right now I cast it out of you right now I cast it out of you right now I cast it out of you right now. There is a lady, you had a miscarriage last week. This is what God is showing me. Please make sure you don't tell lies. We have a, a, a miscarriage last week. Who is that? What's your name? Miriam. Miriam. You had a miscarriage last week. You're married? How long? This year. This year. I'm going to pray for you. Who is miscarriage? How long? Last week. Last week. Where are you from? From Maraba. No, 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 no. Where are you from? State of origin. A ghost state. Do you believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. I'm seeing stones around fire. 
This is what I'm seeing. And the Lord is telling me to take it away. I declare every altar that is speaking against your life. As I'm praying for her, I'm praying for someone. In the name of Jesus, anything that will not let you go, I stand prophetically and I scatter it right now. I stand prophetically and I scatter I scatter it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Help that lady, please. I decree and declare all who have had miscarriages according to the time of life, I prophesy to you right now I don't care what the medical situation is return with your miracle children now return with your miracle children now who is Augustina Augustina I'm hearing a name Augustina Augustina God is bringing victory for that family the family of Augustina, God is bringing victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is someone you have been building. This is more than seven years. I'm seeing a building and I'm seeing the number seven written on it. More than seven years, it has not been completed. Whether it's an individual, whether it's a family, no matter what it is that you do, it looks like it is not completed. I want you to lift your hands. You don't have to come out. The power of God is coming upon you right now it is the finishers anointing you will be surprised to see what happens some of you before December I'm standing as every power sitting on this project and will not allow you make progress I decree and declare go forward in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Huh. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm standing in front of a river. Please look, listen carefully. I'm standing in front of a river and this is what I'm seeing. You would think it's fish that is coming out of the river, but I'm seeing human beings tied with chains. You know how fish comes out and goes back. That's what I'm seeing. The Lord wants to set people free now. Please listen. I'm going to, it's a massive deliverance that is going to happen now. Please hear me. I'm seeing people like you know how you are in a river and it should be fish that come. You know how fishes jump. But I'm seeing human beings tied like fishes. But they are human beings. I'm praying right now. You're about to shout Jesus. My goodness, my God. Every marine spirit. Spirits of darkness connected to the waters it was an element of creation God gave for man's advantage but has been manipulated by powers that be in the name of Jesus anyone whose destiny has been buried kept down by orchestrations of evil spirits as you shout the name Jesus may that fire come upon you and I lose you are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout Jesus I lose you now. I lose you now. Covenants and altars tied to water. I lose you now. I lose you now. I lose you now. I lose you now. I lose you now I'm still praying in the name of Jesus whether you believe it or not listen I'm telling you when God reveals this many of you may not know the cause of the issues around your life wicked demonic patterns no hear me look up let me teach you something the Bible says in revelations when you read 18 19 20 it says in the judgment hell gave up the dead then the Bible said the sea 
gave up the dead. The sea has become a burial ground for many people's destinies. Tied down by activities of witchcraft. When you read your Bible, it says, all of the abundance came forth out of the waters. And the devil has manipulated it to destroy people. I am still praying again. Anyone's destiny here. Your destiny means where God has preordained for you. That has been tied, trapped down. Maritally, financially, in terms of fruitfulness, I decree and declare the spirits that are back of it be judged now. 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 Hallelujah. Please look at me. I want to ask you a question. When Naaman washed seven times and got up and his skin became free, look up. Where did the leprosy go to? Where did the dead skin go to? The spirit of that leprosy was still hovering around. The man who Jesus told him to wash at Siloam, when he washed and he saw, where did the blindness go to? Now, listen, just because people have abused all of these things through, unfortunately, extra biblical practices, you need to have spiritual intelligence enough to understand the dynamics of commanding victory for the believer. Are we together now? The water is a very mysterious spiritual substance because it has an expression of the Trinity too as ice, as liquid, and as gas. Water is not limited by anything, does not fear anything, does not run away from anything. Very mysterious. Father, I want to pray over chains that is holding people's progress. Chains. Chains. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. But there are many of you, you do not know why, regardless the efforts, anything you do, it looks like there is no result for it. And you are not lazy. You are not lazy. You are diligent. Some of you have been in this city for many years, and yet it looks like nothing has opened for you. Please take seriously the prayer I'm about to pray because fire from heaven is about to fall on someone. I decree and declare right now, anyone whose destiny has been chained and hijacked by the powers that be in the name that is above all names, my God, I'm seeing fire resting on people. I declare be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Do you believe in the power of prophecy? Listen, many of you will be surprised at the testimonies. See, you are not the only one listening. Your situations are also listening. Are we together? That means conditions also listen. Everything has breath. Everything listens. So don't think you are the only one who is here and your problems are somewhere scattered around. No, they are all listening. Did the Bible not say that when there was a conversation between the prophet and the woman, the oil and the jar, they were all part of, they were participating in the conversation. Nothing except, and he said, no, don't call that except. Go and borrow vessels and the oil will show you it was part of the conversation. There's someone here
you've been having i'm going to pray for the sick shortly you've been having severe headache when it comes upon you it almost acts as if you are losing your mind this is a very demonic thing this is not just a headache as a result of fatigue the power of god is coming upon you right now right now two of you are not in this auditorium but the power of god is coming upon you right now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god in the name of jesus and for all of you who have come out here you did not just come out to waste your time i decree and declare the same way these spirits have left you they go for good and for some of you even before this service is over your testimony begins Deborah, 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 Deborah. Your name is Deborah? Your wife, allow him, please leave him. Deborah. Please hold the person who starts running out now. I just saw in my vision someone is running out. Hold that one person and bring the person out. Literally, like running. Just hold the person so they don't injure themselves. But bring them. I'm going to pray for you. I had in my spirit Deborah. Ah, the power of God is coming on you. Laughter. This is what I'm hearing for Deborah. Laughter. Laughter, 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 laughter. I decree it in the name of Jesus Christ. Laughter, you are entering your season of laughter. I prophesy it and I decree and declare. You receive it by the Spirit. May it be so for you. Laughter, laughter. Anything that fights your laughter, I curse it right now. He said, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. I prophesy as I hear in my spirit laughter laughter step into your season of laughter in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord is asking me to pray for a family oh dear you are from Gombe State Gombe State where is the family Gombe State Uh, ah, I'm not saying everybody from Gombe State come out oh, if we have that there is I, I'm seeing a family ah, huh? mother and not our people are already out now what do we do mama you are welcome we'll pray. of course everybody wants to go forward so once you hear a word I will pray for you. That's no, no, no. You don't have to come. Ah, huh? Deborah. I already prayed for Deborah. You received by faith. Then eh? we're talking of um, Gombe State. The Lord is speaking to me. Ah. I want to pray for you. Please believe in the power of God. Oh, we are not acting this thing. Gombe is a mighty visitation. God is going to give that family. can stand against the Lord no one can ah. no one will who can stand against our King no one can altars are breaking oh Father, you spoke to me about a family in Gombe State. 
I'm using these ones in front as a prophetic point of contact. Listen, the power of God is going to come upon you and everything that represents shame and reproach for that family, whether you are here represented or prophetically following online. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let the power of God bring to end every activity of witchcraft now. Every activity of witchcraft now. Be broken, be broken. Help mama, please. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken now. The Lord is showing... I'm going to pray for you. Listen. In the name of Jesus, I'm, the Lord is showing me a family where the ladies don't give birth. This is what I'm seeing. Not, not necessarily in Gombe State. This is another case God is showing me. Ladies, whether they get married, they are not able to have children, and this is like a pattern. It's happened to a number of the ladies. You don't have to come out, whether you are online or you are in here. Please, I want you to believe. God is visiting people's situations. In the name of Jesus, before I finish with you, my Gombe people, any spirit that has sat on the womb of the ladies in any family and vowed that they will not give birth by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we command those altars broken now. We command those altars broken now. Now, for all of you, I know some of you, your, maybe your children or your siblings are not here since God spoke about families. As you are standing in faith, I use you as a point of contact. And I pray for your siblings, wherever they are in this nation and across the globe. Between now and the end of this year, return with strange testimonies. Return with strange testimonies. Return with strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Please return to your seat. Please return to your seat. Please return to your seat. I'm going to pray for the sick. How many of you believe in prosperity? Financial prosperity. I know there are five levels. I'm talking about financial prosperity. I believe in it, oh. If you don't believe, you can, you can. It is a very bad thing to be poor. Let me just tell you straight to the point. The reason is, and remember, you have been taught here. When we teach this, we are not teaching from a, an unbeliever's carnal pursuit for material things. But let me assure you by the Spirit of God, you will not be able to do much for the kingdom and for yourself. Poverty takes away dignity from the life of people. Hallelujah. There is the wisdom that brings prosperity. First as a superior belief system and then an understanding of the value that you provide. There is favor that ties with wisdom and brings prosperity. But there is the prophetic that manages the back end of spiritual interruptions to that journey. Get this equation now. Wisdom as your belief system and as the value that you provide. That is the department of wisdom. There is favor programming men and systems to respond favorably to you. Then there is the prophetic dimension. Are we together? If you lack any one of these three, you will be poor. If you have a superior belief system, you have value alone. You will be very limited. You must have favor because at the back end of what brings you wealth are men. And if those men don't like you and don't believe you, you can be valuable and you will still remain there. Are we together? If you have favor in your life and you do not have wisdom, you will only have circumstantial wealth, as important as it is. Because men will come, but wisdom, your, your mindset will keep driving away what favor puts in your hand. But if you have wisdom and have favor as powerful as it is, and you do not have the prophetic, you will keep building and crashing. 
because one activity of demon spirits one activity of the realm of the spirit will rubbish your wisdom completely you can impart the spirit of wisdom but it takes time to build belief systems and that's what we do every week as for favor there is a grace and there is an understanding that brings favor but this prophetic dimension is my assignment I'm going to pray for the sick but I want to speak it listen by the grace of God I vowed before God that I will never raise a people who are just spiritually vibrant alone and then become irresponsible in every area of their life God is not glorified if you cannot pay your children's school fees God is not glorified if you sit down the time you should be spending building your spiritual life you are praying for rent no God is not glorified if you have to tell lies and lie that you are not in the house because the person you are owing has come to knock and afterwards you ask for forgiveness then you lie again it is the assignment of the church in partnership with the Holy Spirit to provide for you the resources that it takes to prosper listen to me men can prosper I know that there are this ministry has very successful people at different levels building transgenerational wealth is more than just having money in your account building transgenerational wealth is rising to a point where you build systems that can secure your life that even in famine you will laugh this balloon success of rising up today and anything that happens across the world you are shaking that's not the kingdom's way at every level we can still rise higher and for some of you who are saying I am comfortable your understanding is poor as far as kingdom advance is concerned because until the kingdom has benefited from your resources you are not prosperous for as long as your resources ends up with you your comfort yes but your comfort alone wrong for the sake of thy prosperity I desire your house I'm going to speak over your life before we pray for the sick please I plead with you in the name of Jesus if you ever believe and respect the prophetic believe this declaration just believe it and insult me that I'm stupid afterwards if it does not happen but please believe it father in the name of Jesus Christ I cry unto you you are a covenant keeping God I have vowed and you have agreed with it that we will raise a people of influence Lord there are people here who love you sincerely but this financial embarrassment has tied their lives down I stand by the prophetic in the name of Jesus for as many who believe in this grace and whose heart is open I prophesy to you the grace that lifts men bringing them out of financial shame to a life of dignity that allows you to serve the Lord receive that grace now receive that grace now receive that grace now businesses receive that grace now families receive that grace now Territories, receive that grace now. Anyone who is in any financial situation, you are owing, you lost money, you are in business, there's some kind of financial trouble. In the name of Jesus, like Elijah prophesied over the, the, the woman in Zarephath, I speak to your life. May God raise men to bring you out of that situation. May God raise men to bring you out of that situation. Apostle, what do I do to prosper? May my God show you in a dream. In the name of Jesus, the area connected to your wealth, I ask my God to open your eyes in the vision of the night and show you where he has kept the wine and the oil for you.
Can I declare favor over you? If it happens only once in your life, it is not favor. There is a big difference between breakthrough and favor. Breakthrough is when the obstacles and the limitations that impede you are taken away. Favor is when under regardless what conditions, you begin to have predictable positive results. God compelling men to help you. Listen, I submit to you and at the risk of sounding proud, I know what I'm saying. Forgive me if my statement or anything sounds like boasting or arrogance. I know what it means to walk in the favor of God. I'm praying for you such as I have in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God, the one who favors men. I'm praying for you. Let this mantle rest upon your head. May this mantle rest upon your head. May this mantle rest upon your head. Sincerely believers hear me, let me tell you the truth. Most of the things that are written in your prayer request are within the department of favor to give you that testimony, if you will be honest. We are going to pray for the sick shortly, but most people, there are those who are not sick in body except they are standing for others. But there is a disease of the absence of favor. You can know that a man's life is not favored. Even if you are making money, you should know by now that favor is far more than money. You can have financial resources and not be favored. The difference will be clear. The proof of favor is more than money. Access to the heart of men. That's the proof of favor. You can have money and everybody hates you. There are many things money cannot do. I've always prayed for people and you've heard me say it, that may you never be so poor that the only thing you have is money. Hmm. Money can fail. It's a piece of paper. Real wealth is men. Not things, men. The only reason why things have value is because of men who value them. Please learn this. High level spiritual intelligence, real wealth is men. When God connects your heart to men, he has connected your heart to things and he has connected your heart to money. But you can be connected to money, connected to things, it will kill you, destroy you. Who hates you does not matter, but who likes you matters. I repeat, real wealth is men. In the multitude of men, not things, is a king's honor. Somebody who can remember you and stand for you and see to it that under their watch you actualize destiny, unhindered by any kind of thing, whether financial or systemic limitations. Now that is wealth. Don't get into that illusion that money does anything. No. People misunderstand the scripture that says money answereth all things. What does the Bible mean by money? Because at those times, it was not your idea of money that they had. Real wealth is men. That's why Jesus did not come to die for things. Creation was part of the beneficiaries of salvation, but principally, it was for men. If you have money, use the money to build relationships. If you have money and the only thing you have is a house and you say, I have an estate, you will be surprised. Estates don't visit you when you are in the sick bed. Estates don't say, I love you. Estates don't say, I'm praying for you. The fruit in your shop will not look at you and say, good morning, sir. Don't be carried away by mundane things and ignore men. Real wealth is men. Let's pray for healing. Please lay your hands. You're trusting God for a miracle. And while I'm praying for the sick, please begin to submit your request. Let me give you one or two minutes. If you have not written your prayer request, please write it very quickly. And then we're going to pray for the sick. Let's do it very quickly. Ushers, while we're praying, if you've written your prayer request, pass it to your left or right for sake of time. 
and there will be an official picking it. Let me give you one minute to quickly write and then we'll stand up to pray for the sick. Most times our time is so limited before we do anything, it's already gone. And um, so very quickly. One minute, write your request in case your faith was not enlarged enough to write certain things. Now you've been convicted, write them, write them again. And I will not be silent. I will always worship. Write them with joy in your heart, knowing that there is a God that answers prayers. As you drop your prayer request I want you to believe by faith that what you are dropping in the name of Jesus the only other thing you will pick are your testimonies if you're done please stand I want to pray for the sick now till Jesus comes I believe in healing miracles I believe in the power of God why should you die before your time when What's that song? There is a fountain filled with blood that flowing now no else can sing a song in the glory lose all. Please lay your hands now believing anywhere you're trusting God for a miracle I'm seeing people lifting the photos of their loved ones I'm seeing others connecting by faith there are people following from hospitals having death sentences it is for your sake that God sent us to be channels of healing and miracles I believe in miracles I really do now here's what will happen I'm going to pray for the sick now and expect the power of God like I taught you earlier to rest upon you if you are the one standing for yourself or for your loved one who you are believing for a miracle are we together the moment that happens very very briefly very very briefly we're going to allow a few people and it doesn't mean that you have to you must have been healed tonight if in the course of the service the week the power of God has touched you and there is a healing miracle you can join them will take for a very few minutes just a few people and those who are outside and all the overflows uh, would like to hear what God is doing with them too so if there's anyone who is healed there and they're coming please ushers protocol allow them provided they rush fast let's have a few notable testimonies to honor Jesus and then we'll pray over the requests and I'll speak over your life hallelujah please stand if it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest and then we'll pray. Hallelujah. And I want you to agree as I pray. For those who are following from hospitals, other people carrying their medical reports, there is nothing 
you cannot do There's no mountain If you have said it, then you will do it. You have a track record of keeping your word. You're not about to stop doing it now. He's not about to stop doing it. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God, who gives men the power to heal the sick, I decree and declare right now, so many phones lifted representing people, some following, some demonic conditions, some death sentences. In the name of Jesus, the spirit that is back of that infirmity, whatever it is called, I invoke the name that is above every other name and even the blood of the eternal covenant that altar that speaks above and against every negative altar I command that those spirits depart right now yeah. depart right now yeah. depart right now yeah. now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus for all those who are sick, it doesn't matter how long and it does not matter what the problem is. I stretch my hands prophetically and I declare, be healed now. Let the life of God surge into your body now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bone conditions. Anyone having a bone condition, I declare be healed now. Anyone lying down on the sick bed, I forbid you from dying in the name of Jesus. HIV, be healed now. Cancer, be healed now. Tumors and growths be healed now. Partial or complete blindness. Eyes be open now. Ears be unstopped now. You heard about the testimony of the lady that God gave a brand new womb. In the name of Jesus, any organ that is failed or failing, we command a brand new organ now. Peptic ulcer be healed. Recurrent migraines be healed. Blood conditions be healed. There's someone you have a serious problem smelling. It's just, you know how it's like you put pepper in someone's nose and that stink. That's literally how it is for you. God is showing me. In the name of Jesus, you are healed right now. The Lord is showing me someone, you usually are a straight person. You stand very straight, but something began to happen to you and you are bending over. It's like it's something is bending you over. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that you are straightened now. Someone's kneecap. You've had severe pain around your kneecap. In Jesus' name, may the power of God touch you. There's someone you are you are going you are going to go for a surgery. I'm seeing that you are supposed to go for a surgery in two weeks. I don't know what the condition is, but it had to it has to do with your abdominal region. In the name of Jesus, may the power of God touch you right now. Yeah. There's someone you have severe breathing problems. Um, you've not gone to the hospital for any check, but you've had severe. Sometimes you sit down and you are gasping for breath you thought it was because you are adding weight but that thing is still happening to you 
in the name of Jesus Christ severe breathing whatever is wrong with your respiratory system we correct it now by the power of God you have a problem with your the lumbar area the power of God is touching you right now you almost you cannot bend properly when you bend you feel severe pain the Lord is touching you right now now whether I mention your case or not I want you to believe right now in the name of Jesus there is a woman you are not here in Nigeria your daughter has kidney stones this is what I'm seeing the power of God is touching that little girl right now I'm hearing the name bronchitis bronchitis in the name of Jesus whether here or anywhere following across the globe I declare be healed now I'm seeing a woman in fact I'm seeing in my vision a woman is holding another woman and that woman is suffering from hypertension in the name of Jesus Christ I pray by the power of God that woman is healed now if there's anybody here who came with a mad person maybe a mad person having any kind of um, psychosomatic disorder any kind of you know issue that has to do with madness in Jesus name we declare they are restored now they are restored now repeated malaria month after month you treat it it returns you treat it it returns in Jesus name be healed now yeah. by the power of the Holy Spirit and then the Lord is showing me someone um, not to be embarrassed but you've not even gone to the toilet in days because you have a very acute I don't know if you've gone to the hospital but you have an an embarrassingly painful expression of pile this is 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 this thing with what i'm seeing is not even just like pile it's like a swelling even though i'm praying for you but it will be wise to at least try to see a doctor because what you know what i'm seeing is not very good is is wise and i've taught you here we believe in the healing power of god but we are responsible people you have a situation that calls for concern there are many many doctors that are born again and filled with the Holy Spirit they can be able to examine you even if it needs a miracle they'll be honest enough to tell you it is wiser to at least get that perspective than to you know irresponsibly shrug it away and yet you are not releasing your faith for that person I'm praying right now this night this moment may the power of God touch you now in the name of Jesus Christ someone's left ear left ear you hear a very you know very irritating sound and then that's it I'm praying for you be healed now and pains around the body any part of the body whatsoever be healed in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I speak healing for you now 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 this life that I have is a life of God in me this life that I am is a lie. This life that I am is a life of God in me. This life that I am is a life of God. So wait, so wait, so wait. under the anointing now in Jesus name I declare be healed here's what I want you to do for me we have just 
about five minutes for you. I want you to check yourself whether you are outside any of the overflow, our global family and those within here. The moment you find out that there is a miracle for you, check yourself. Do what you couldn't do before. And we're going to take a few people. You find out that the power of God has touched you. You need to see the doctors, the medical people. You can go out to our medical stand very quickly and have yourself checked. And I want you to return very quickly. Now, please, the moment you find out that a miracle has happened, I don't want you to sit back. It is important that we seal your miracle. I want you to check yourself and make your way right to the front. Even though I know that our time is gone, but it's good we take even if it's just one or two testimonies very quickly let's celebrate them as they check themselves there's a miracle that is happening god is healing people make your way to the front koinonia is this the best that you can do don't get too used to miracles those who are coming from outside please let them come very quickly let's have a few miracles your name and then we'll seal that miracle by the power of the holy spirit and in the name of Jesus, for a man of God who came here, make sure that you receive the final impartation because this is what God is doing in your life. Hallelujah. We'll take a few. Um, if you are yet to submit your prayer request, wave it so that someone will see it. Just wave it very high above your head and someone will pick it up and bring it right here and then we'll pray. The moment the power of God has touched you, you've confirmed that you have a miracle, we'll have a few testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready, sir? Okay, once we get a confirmation. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. My name is Ori. I came with a toothache. It's been on and off for a couple of months. You came with a toothache? Yes. Uh huh. And even when I inhale air, sometimes the tooth will start to ache. Yes. But now if I inhale, I don't feel the pain. Completely. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, we celebrate your miracle and we declare that it will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Yes, please. Apostle, I have an interesting one here. Wow. Go ahead. I've been, since morning I came here, I couldn't stand up from the chair myself. And I've been managing rheumatoid arthritis for over almost two years now. But just now I could stand up. You could stand now. Look at this. Koinonia, you are so used to miracles. Watch this. Look at how, for how many years? For two years. Over now. two years. She could not stand on her own. My God, can you walk? Yes. Go ahead, walk. This life that I have is the life of God in me. This life that I have is the life. In the name of Jesus, I declare perfection. I cause rheumatoid arthritis. You go back to hell where you came from. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Can we have one or two there very quickly? Yeah, Apostle, our brother came in from the UK. You mentioned the case of people with evil smell. He has had this since 2015. When people come what, what happened to him? Have... Give him the mic. Quickly, no, don't hold it, just speak. So actually, I came down yes uh, from the UK uh, three days ago to come and see the man of God. And yes. You mentioned my case that uh, there are somebody that they invoke uh, evil smell or strange smell upon. Yes. And that's what exactly they've been doing to me about 15, uh, 15 since 2015. Um, even this morning when I came, so it's like I, I've been mocked with it. When I'm, uh, when I'm here, you see. Everybody will smell. What happened to you now? It's like I am. Um, I, I do not You're completely free from I it. In the name of Jesus, that demonic smell leaves you never, never to return. Isaac blessed his son and said, The smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Yes, please. Open up and left here since when she was small. She can hear with the hair now. Can you imagine? Yes, Which of them? My left ear. Come on now. Come it's on, Koinonia. very hot. <laughs> You're together. Oh, husband, tell us about it. She went from when she was small. She had an accident and they had to do an operation on that year. You married her like that? Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. What I meant was when you married her, that condition was there. Yes, yes. My God. 
Look at this. Close the one, close the one that, that is working. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Come on now. Look at this. She's even excited. Do you know what it means? Listen, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know what it means to leave home and say, I'm going to church? And then one year, you're already used to it. How long has this been? I was 13. You were 13? No, I, I think I was 16. Then I had a, a laboratory accident when I was working in the lab in the university. Something entered my ears, um, pseudomonia, and grew in my ear since then. I had operation, but still I can't hear very well on the left side. When you were praying, my ear got very hot, and then I felt something crawling out of my ear. I kept on checking, and there's nothing. In the name of Jesus, you are healed and perfected forever. Congratulations to you and your husband. Let's celebrate them as they go. Yes, please. Another case of the opening of left ear too. Uh, mommy, opening of left ear. Mommy, what happened? Uh, for about two months now, my left ear yes. has been noise. Noise? Noise. Uh -huh. it's, it's causing something like vertigo. I, can't, I couldn't walk even here. Well, since I came here, I've not been able to walk on my own. Some people can testify to that. They saw me that they were holding me. They were holding you. They were holding me to come to walk. I and right walk. now, walk. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light. It's for love. Sing it that song now. Oh, walk, 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 walk. walk. of Jesus. Return back and tell God's people Jesus healed you. God bless you. Show with kneecap and kneecap is also healed too since 2013. Your kneecap? Yes. What kind of a demonic? Since 2013. And now is you're healed in the name totally. of Jesus Christ. Totally. totally. Completely healed. You go and tell them Jesus healed you. In Jesus name I pray. Apostle, it, another opening of ear since when he was small. Opening of his left ear. Your left ear? Yes, sir. Like, then took something in my, in my ear. If, you want, if someone wants to talk to me. What happened to you? Then took something in my ear. If someone wants to talk to me, I have to turn my right ear. Oh, my God. Close that one. Say Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. How long has this been? 23, sir. Huh? 23, sir. 23 years? Yes, sir. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, this demonic thing will never return again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, you see, some of these miracles look very common, but you may never understand the discomfort that the people healed go through. Hallelujah. I promise that we'll have a few. Let's see. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Uh, it actually happened when you... Straight to the point. Yes. yes what uh, happened? I was... I went up to eat myself in the night, so uh, I, feel, I felt as if something entered me. Since then, I had this pains around my abdomen and my private part. So I just kept it to myself. I rebook it immediately, but it persists when I was driving that day. So as I came here, it was disturbing me. I was going out to ease myself. Go. So before the ministration of the uh, prayer for healing, so I said that was the last time I was going out. And if I go out to pee, it would be like yellow and it would be smelly. But after the prayer, I went out to ease myself. And it was completely like nothing. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. Let's celebrate Jesus. So, so we have an interesting one here. So it's not for the mother, but for the baby. My baby has been having noisy breath since a week after I gave birth. Noisy him. breath? Yes. How old is the baby? He's one year, few weeks. Okay. And during the last miracle service, 
I was believing God for it, but the devil was testing my faith. The noisy breath continued a little. Mm. Even now, he was sleeping, and I was feeling the vibration, but immediately you prayed. You prayed. About the respiratory issue. It stopped. Completely. Yes. I cannot feel the vibration on his back again. And he's sleeping for over a year. I, I don't sleep at night. Struggling to What's your baby's him. name? Caris. Caris. Look at what one prayer of faith. One prayer of faith. Only God knows what this child will grow up to become. You can know how many fruits come out of a tree. There are many, but they are countable. But you can never tell how many trees can come out from a fruit or a seed. Father, we pray for baby Caris. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. And the mother, may God bless you for standing in faith for our baby. In Jesus' name. Congratulations. God bless you. God bless you. I had a pain on this right leg, so I saw an orthopedic for it. So once this leg started getting better, this leg started having issues. Mm. So for more than a month now, like I cannot, you, I could, when I'm walking, you can visibly see me limping. So okay. but when the word came that somebody is healing someone with a kneecap issue, the, the pain just left. Completely like walk. Said. Look at this. What you've waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Look at this. Koinonia, celebrate Jesus. He will never return to you again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Also, several testimony here were just lumping them. Severe headache, difficulty in bending. For the past three weeks, he could bend. Very well. Now, now you're bending. Pain. Congratulations. God bless you. Abdominal pain for the past one month now. The pain is abdominal going to pain. That devil leaves you forever in the name of Jesus Christ. She had an accident some years ago and then she couldn't. So when you gave the word of people with lumbar challenge, how long? Under the just, just put the mic on her. Help her. The power of God is still on her. How long, my dear? Huh? Since October 2020. That was when. A 350 Lexus hit me from behind. A Lexus hit you? Yeah. And what happened to you after then? She couldn't bend. I couldn't bend. I, if I want to bend, I'm having pain. Bend now. Any pain? I command that devil to leave you. It will never, never, never return to you again. You are protected on the road. You will not be a victim of any accident. Difficulty in, in breathing. In breathing. For the past two months. You mentioned the case. He thought he would because he was at Yes. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare healing for you right now. Healing by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Ulcer and chest pain. Ulcer and chest pain. You are healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. So, Apostle, we had a case of um, fracture on the leg. Fracture? How long? Last year, December. 11th December, last year. What happened? I, was, I went to market on our way back. I was hit by a car on the express. Let me prophesy over your life. In the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare you are protected from accidents. <laughs> You will not die from anybody's mistake. Your children are protected and covered. In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. Yes, my dear. So what happened to you? So my leg got broken into two. It was completely like this. Not like this again. Your leg? Yes, sir. This leg. You, how did, you went to the hospital? Yes, sir. I even did um, x-ray on the leg. And then what happened? So they treated the leg, but it wasn't okay. I couldn't run completely. I don't run before I come here. I don't. I can't squat. If I squat, the leg is pinning me. And when I'm walking, I can't walk fast. I have to walk slow. I'm limping very badly. And the leg, I feel pain from here and here. What's your name? Keziah. 
There are people who know about this. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, oh, there are so many people you know about our situation. Run. But this God is mighty. Oh. Look at this. Look at, she's squatting. In the name of Jesus Christ. This remains perfected in your life forever. Amen. amen and amen. Let's see if we can take two more. My sincere apologies. You know, I keep looking at the time. Apostle, yes. you gave a very prophetic word of knowledge regarding someone with a mental case, with a migraine that causes... Like, yes. That makes me feel as if I was wrong or I should take off my clothes. What's your name? Benashi. Okay. What happened to you? So, I came in with the head. It's as if something moves on my head. And makes you want to run? Yes, want to move or want to lose my mind. So immediately you prophesy that whoever has a headache, immediately you made the prophecy. I, I don't feel it anymore. I feel normal. I don't, I don't, I don't feel In the name of Jesus Christ, you are perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My sincere, okay, let's take that last one. My apologies. Please allow me to pray for the remaining. Um, the, the meetings are always available for you to testify. We have to work with time. My sincere apologies. Miracle services usually would require an extended time to celebrate what Jesus is doing. Yes. My is waist pain. Like, a, yes, they hit me something on my waist. Like, how long has this been? Six months. And right now? Like, I'm feeling serious pain. So when Don't go. Praying, Just stand. Let me pray first. Yes. As you were praying, I went outside. I slept on the ground so that my waist here we touched the floor, the coldness of the floor. I felt it. So when I checked, I felt that the pain, everything is gone. So I'm Gone free. completely. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Unfortunately, because of our time, my sincere apologies. We may not be able to take the testimonies one by one, but we glorify Jesus. Listen, every testimony is proof that God is alive. I have taught you it is proof that God loves. And as simple as this is because of the kind of grace that God has given us, we do not take it for granted. It is the workings of God. No man is able to do this except God be with him. And so, Father, we rejoice over these testimonies. We thank you for confirming your word with signs following. We know that there are several others who have been healed, touched, blessed. And for all of them, I decree and declare that you will return with your testimonies. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. Please rise up on your feet and stretch your hands towards me. Everyone, please stand. Rise up on your feet. Stretch your hands towards me. If we still have other requests, please let's have it very quickly so that we'll pray. Begin to speak over your prayer request. Father, this is a representation of my faith. The Bible mandates that we present our request and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that this is a supernatural miracle for me. Go ahead. This is the ninth month. It's your time to deliver. Is someone praying? In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. Shapranda kaskote preti ke pala hasidya pashati ka pala kuziata pa. Embra katus ko zebra katus yekete place. Father, turn situations around. Visit families. Visit businesses visit ministries let your people experience the touch of god i'm laying my hands and releasing the anointing upon this request unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come is someone praying Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, your people are walking in their testimonies. They are walking in the manifestation of the word. Never again, oh God, answer your people. Turn our mornings into dancing. Take away the garment of shame and reproach. 
so that our glory will praise your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you because the Bible says to be anxious for nothing, but it says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says to make your request known unto God. We have brought this as a representations of our faith, believing that you are able. Father, I bow my knees upon this request as your servant, and I pray that from the abundance of your mercy and power, grant answers to this request. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your crying come to an end. Let shame come to an end. Let reproach come to an end. Let it be a season of joy and laughter. A season of lifting and restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. I was in House on the Rock last week. And um, I taught on the teaching helped by God. is on our a YouTube page, you can listen to it. And in that teaching, I taught that there are three ways that God extends his help to man. Number one is by granting men access to his mercy. Number two, through the ministry of men. And then number three, through the ministry of the helper, the paraclete that we call the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So God is able to show men help by granting them mercy. Number two, God is able to use men. The man at the pool of Bethesda, when Jesus said, what do I do? His prayer was, I have no man. That was his prayer. I do not have any man who will come and stand to advocate and help me. Most of these requests here you see are men dependent. It will take the, the, the synergy between the power of God and the ministry of men for this to happen. I said all that because I want to call forth prophetically the men that God will use to provide speedy answers. I decree and declare everyone mandated by God to respond to any or all your prayer requests. I declare from this night, may their ministry in your life be activated. If it is a job, the person who should talk to the person who should talk to the person who will grant you the job, we activate their ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ, everyone who has been ordained of God to bring you intervention and to send you help, we activate their ministry speedily. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, I bow my knees before the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and by the power of priesthood and the prophetic, I prophesy that every request here written is hereby turned into a harvest of testimonies. For in Jesus' name we pray. Let me speak over your life finally. Come to Jesus if you are not born again. I'm about to make an altar call um, and then I speak. I think I should just make the altar call before I speak. Keep standing. Please don't sit. Keep standing. We're almost done. No, please, let's not move around. You need Jesus Christ. Apostle, I'm coming here for the first time and I confess that I need Jesus or I need a restoration to my spiritual life. Please, make your way to the front right now. Make your way to the front. For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only begotten son. Don't let anybody laugh at you. Make your way to the front. Whosoever believes in him, carry your bags, carry your Bibles, everything you came to church with. Please, come out and make Jesus Lord of your life. Carry your bags if you can, carry your Bibles and everything you came to church with. God bless you. Koinoni, are you celebrating them? Come and stand before Jesus. He is able to give you a new beginning. Apostle, I want to come, but I'm shy. We're encouraging you. Come, make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. Mean it with Jesus. 
the Holy Spirit is convicting you, he's telling you, you need to make it right. All the overflows, all those who are viewing, watching from across the globe, it is never too late to make it right with Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you as you come. Hallelujah. Thank you very much for making this noble decision. This is one of the reasons why God, the reasons why God anointed us to be able to help people experience Jesus. We are very passionate about people's encounter with Jesus because no matter what else you receive, without Jesus, you only receive something very, very temporary. Hallelujah. The greatest gift God gave man, it's not breakthrough, it's not favor, it's not lifting, it's not healing. He gave us Jesus. Hallelujah. And so if you receive every other thing and reject Jesus, you did not really receive God's gift. I salute you for making this noble decision. Some of you for the first time, some of you are rededicating your lives. I just request that you mean it from the depth of your heart. If you're joining them, please run. I'm about to lead them to pray. And those who are following online, please join us as we pray. All of the overflows do same. Don't stand in front and just murmur and don't mean what you are saying. No, standing is not what makes you saved. We only call you so that you can be separated, mean business with Jesus, and then to be led for follow-up. So please do make sure that you mean it with Jesus Christ. This is the house of God. Thank you very much. Lift your right hand, please, high above your head. And I want you to say this from the depth of your heart. Say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I confess that you are my Savior, you are my Lord, and you are my King. I declare that the power of sin, right, um, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I am a child of God. I begin a journey with God. Amen. Father, thank you for these ones who have come, presenting themselves before you. The Bible declares that as many who will come, you will in no wise cast away. I, I receive them by faith on behalf of Jesus Christ, the head of the church, and I declare that your sins are forgiven. Let tonight begin a new um, journey in your Christian experience in the name of Jesus. Like you have confessed, I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over your life. From tonight, you go forward ever and backward never. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you very much for your courage. God bless you. May I please request that you follow the counselors to my right, which is your left. There are a few people who would just have a word with you very briefly, and then they would speak over your life and you'll be done. Let's celebrate them as they go. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, um, we're starting a very, very special series from next week, God Granting Us Grace. Um, yes. It is going to be life-defining. And let me encourage you to be a, be a student of Scripture because you are going to learn something in this month of September into October that will really, really def redefine your Christian experience. And I've taught you, make no mistake to believe that you've known everything to know. We have not even scratched the surface. The curriculum for spiritual growth and impact, we've not even gone anywhere close. So let your heart be open. When you come to church, come to learn, come to listen, come to grow. Hallelujah. Let's take the following announcements and then I speak over your life to wrap up the service. The ushering, team, the ushering team is announcing that um, those who want to be part of them are ushers. Please do well to wait at the, the, um, the, the PR desk immediately after service. Someone will come to meet you and um, they will guide you and direct you on what else to do. In the same vein, 
our aesthetics department, those who beautify the stage and the house of God, is now open for new members. All interested persons are to kindly meet a representative of the aesthetics department at the PR desk immediately after the service. So do spare a minute or two if you are interested to just meet someone who will have a word with you. Our medical team, finally, is now open for new members. All of you who are medical doctors or in any area of medical practice, here's your chance to be part of our medical team. Kindly send an application written to the head of department, Koinonia Medical Team. Send the letter to Koinonia Medical Team as one word, Koinonia Medical Team at gmail.com. Kindly ensure to include, they say, your bio data and contact information. So do well to put in your bio data and your contact information. The following documents still from the medical team should be attached to the letter. Your practice license, your resume, and your university certificates. They are that strict. We are very strict because our medical people, are, they have access to a lot of things and they treat people. Um, we have a very robust medical team, so we hope that you understand why they are very strict. We want to make sure that we only have people who are professionally certified to handle um, any medical issues here in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah and for those of you in South Africa I'll be in South Africa um, from Thursday we'll be having an awesome time join me in Johannesburg it will just be for the weekend and then I'm back so open up your heart I'll be preaching for my dear friend and brother Apostle Felix house of treasures make sure that you connect all of you come let's meet there you'll be a time of the word of signs and wonders God is going to be imparting very mighty mighty graces and mantles I trust that it will be a wonderful time in the name of Jesus Christ have you been blessed tonight after the grace and when I am done speaking over your life do well to turn to someone exchange pleasantries and speak a word of blessing before you go please lift your hands and receive the final blessing in the name of Jesus I decree and declare everything you have received in this service stays with you in the mighty name of jesus and if there is anything god intended for you to receive and it slipped and you did not receive it i stand by faith and i declare may it come upon your life now in the name of jesus even as you prayed at the start of the word session may your life command fearful testimonies it will be evident before all men that the Lord has helped you. It will be evident before all men that you are commanding strange results. It will be evident before all men that the favor of God resides with you. It will be evident before all men that you are totally and unquestionably free. It will be evident before all men that the prophetic word of God is upon your life. Therefore, by this blessing, go and prosper. Go and experience increase. Go and keep loving the Lord with all your heart. Let your prayer life come back to life. Let your word study life come back to life. And whilst you give yourself to seeking and loving the Lord, may your destiny keep unfolding in Jesus' name. The Lord will command men and systems to put resources into your hands. By next Sunday, you will be so full of testimonies. For in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's celebrate Pastor Ike and his wife. Very interesting people. Amen. But then it is true that when God wants to help you, he sends men. Hallelujah. When Satan wants to destroy you, he also sends men. In any case, men have been the reason for the destruction of others and then for the rising of others. Are you ready for tonight? Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands to heaven. 
and let's begin to bless the king of kings and the lord of lords the one who will do wonders in our midst tonight go ahead and bless him in one minute cry from the depth of your heart ask for a visitation very definite visitation by the spirit are you praying definite visitation by the spirit the bible says in genesis 21 1 the lord visited sarah as he had said spoken the lord did unto sarah as he has spoken visit me tonight give me an encounter you're a man of god you're in ministry you're trusting god for another level of exploit in the spirit go ahead and pray everyone that asketh receiveth from the front to the back left to right all who are outside anywhere at all connect with your heart and let god give you an encounter for those following from across the globe now is your chance to receive tonight will be an extraordinary night the spirit of grace is resting upon us for in jesus matchless name we pray father we ask that you rain upon us tonight you come as the rain according to isaiah 32 15 that until the spirit is poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness be counted for a fruitful field and a fruitful field be counted for the forest the last day of the feast he said whoever is thirsty let him come we have come in the name of jesus your word says blessed are they that hunger and thirst for they shall be filled let no one live here disappointed tonight let the sick be healed let the oppressed be delivered redirect the destinies of men tonight and set us on fire in jesus mighty name we pray amen god bless you and please you may be seated the psalmist said i was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the lord there are things you only find in the house of the lord hallelujah one of it is an encounter with his presence so we'll be very fast tonight by the grace of god and um i while i was just preparing i i got into a dilemma because uh, number one i promised that i had to finish um the teaching that we began yesterday and helping us understand the apostolic model for growth and stability I spoke about the nature and the character of God and there were two other dimensions of God um, but I apologize I have to shelve that right now because I need to speak to the theme of the teaching as it leads us to the miracle service so perhaps another time God will grant us grace to take it from there because it's my last session with us and um, the theme is open doors and so it's only fair and honest that we respond to that which God has put in the heart of pastor ike and his team if god placed this theme in their heart it is because there is someone whose door is about to open and let me prophesy to you already in the name of jesus that every door that has been closed over your life tonight is not the night to be careless about receiving in the name of jesus i decree and declare before your eyes that door opens before your eyes that door opens before your eyes doors of ministry doors of new levels doors of higher dimensions of power before your eyes that door opens tonight in jesus name please be seated matthew 7 7 and 8 my goodness matthew chapter 7 7 and 8 can we go to um let's use kjv i'm seeing message here let's do kjv thank you the bible says ask and it shall be given you seek and you shall find knock and it shall be open can you see there this is jesus speaking that every time you knock it shall be opened verse 8 for everyone say everyone this blessings is for everyone everyone that asketh receiveth he that seeketh findeth and to him that knocketh it shall be open revelation chapter 3 7 and 8 we're speaking on open doors 
and to the angel of the church in philadelphia write this thing saith he that is holy he that is true and he that hath the key of david he that openeth and no man shutteth and shutteth and no man openeth verse 8 i know thy works behold i have set before you an open door and no man can shut it shout a loud amen. amen let's discuss doors for a moment what are doors i need to just bring us to this understanding and then tonight i'll be praying for the sick i'll be ministering to the oppressed and then be speaking over our lives in the name of jesus and i hope already that you have your prayer request and if you are here and you've not written your request go ahead whilst i'm teaching do well to pen down your requests we are before the god that answers prayer and if you've written a few things and your faith is now enlarged by reason of what god is doing you can add some more things and that applies to those who are connecting online it is not a ritual it is not religiosity we serve a god that answers prayer the bible says unto thee that answers prayer will all flesh come what are doors number one a door is an authorized system for access this is the first thing you have to understand about doors doors are authorized legitimate systems for access access into rooms access into realms access into dimensions doors midwife one room and another for instance your house the various rooms are separated by doors am i right on that so you can be in your house but then between the living room and the kitchen say there usually is a door and then the kitchen and the bathrooms a door then all other rooms they are separated by walls but then you have access to the various rooms through doors so doors are authorized systems of access access to opportunities access to levels access to dimensions in the spirit you have that down it's important you have this that means every time god and destiny wants you to make progress a door must be opened are we together it is beyond just a metallic object giving way swinging from left or right no doors are a representation of any system for access it has to be authorized that's why it's called a door you may have heard me teach that if you come into my house by jumping the fence you are in my house but you are not welcome what is the name of such a person a thief not a visitor why is he a thief because although he's in my house he did not follow the authorized access so jesus speaking about himself said i am the door in other words if you try to route the realm of the spirit through any other agency even if you find yourself in the realm of the spirit you are still out of the will of god because no man comes to the father except through jesus the door are we together now a few things about doors that you need to understand i'll be very very fast doors control motion the first thing you need to understand about doors is that doors control movement every time a door is closed it affects your movement if you were walking say for instance from your living room to a kitchen and the door the, the speed with which you were you have to slow down mark time and even stand still until the door is open before your movement continues so doors control motion doors control movements hallelujah now doors can also mean hindrances watch this now doors can also mean limitations they can also mean restrictions in as much as on one hand doors represent authorized systems for access doors can also represent hindrances doors can represent restrictions doors can represent access if for instance you come into an office and you want to see perhaps maybe the ceo or the gmd usually you are kept in a room and there may be a few rooms before you finally get to the office and you are restricted because of the presence of doors is someone learning already 
the next information i want you to know about doors and this is important for what you'll be receiving tonight is that doors can open and doors can close as simple as this is is a profound revelation doors can open and doors can close for various reasons doors can open and doors can close there are thousands of people in this place tonight and every single one of you without any exception you came into this room into this building this lovely structure through a door a number of doors i see around this beautiful auditorium and every one of them has given you the access because of its ability to open and to close are we together now doors can be circumstances doors can be human entities and doors can be spirits this is a very profound revelation doors can be circumstances doors can be human entities i'm summarizing a few thoughts about doors my apologies for just rushing you we need to get to a certain level so that we can do justice to what god intends to be done tonight doors can be circumstances say circumstances doors can be human entities that means an individual can be a door for instance jesus jesus himself said i am the door not that i have the door i am the door myself men can be doors and then spirits can also be doors profound so when we talk about doors we're not just talking about physical objects inanimate objects that open and swing no they could be human beings they could be spirits are you ready for the next information about doors almost all doors are closed by default almost all doors are closed by default for many reasons almost all doors are closed by default and i don't want to start boring you with the various reasons but let's try one or two the reason why doors are closed is not always a disadvantage to have closed doors if you do not understand closed doors you will not understand open doors are we together yes when you buy a product watch this how many of you know that because the product is closed and packaged that is its seal of authenticity if you buy a perfume or you buy whatever gadget if you see it already open in fact for certain products like perishables beverages they tell you that if the seal or the cap is already open as at the point of purchase that you return it for a refund am i right on that so when doors close they increase the value of a person they increase the value of a thing doors closed doors are also seals of authenticity hallelujah doors manage restrictions until permission is granted doors manage restriction they restrict access doors manage ac access my my apologies they manage or they restrict access imagine with me that your car did not have doors imagine with me that your jewelry box did not have a cover a door imagine with me that the banks especially at this point in this nation did not have doors imagine with me that a big store or a warehouse did not have a door so doors manage and they restrict access until permission is granted are we together doors also protect and preserve for instance as born again as you are full of the holy spirit when you left your house you locked the door it was not a devil that locked the door it was you you even came to church where the presence of god is you still locked your car am i right on that yes some of you have your bags with you right now in the presence of god where the shekinah glory of god is and you still locked the bag so not all closed doors are wrong <laughs> am i right on that i see some of you taking drinks in front and when you sip the drink interesting that you will still close it although you plan to open it but for the time being because you are not given a chance to fly so anything any kinds of impurity so closed doors are not all evil that's the point i'm trying to communicate you understand to just treat all closed doors as demonic may be wrong because doors closed doors have their advantage 
However, closed doors can be deliberate hindrances to, to stop your progress. Closed doors can be deliberate hindrances to stop your progress. This is the context of our discussion tonight. Closed doors can be deliberate hindrances to stop your progress. If you are together, say amen. Now please look up. That means the moment you stand before a closed door, the first thing you need is not a desire to open it. You need discernment. Because you need to find out whether the closing of that door as it is, is an advantage for you or not. Are we together now? If you hear that there is some gunshot and there are arm robbers around and a door is closed, you will thank God that that door is closed because it represents your safety. Am I right on that? But then if you need to step out of your house and then for instance, you lose the key to the main door, now you are locked up inside that is a disadvantage and you need help so every time you stand before closed doors listen carefully closed doors in ministry closed doors in destiny the first thing you need is discernment to understand the intent behind that closed door if it is demonic then we can now begin to discuss the concept of open doors blindly teaching that all closed doors are demonic may be dangerous there are many of you today that your safety is because certain doors have been closed and have remained closed. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Do you know that your body itself is a door that covers and keeps all your internal organs safe? Do you know that? Imagine for instance that a woman, a, a, a woman is pregnant and the child is just hanging and growing on her head. If you are angry and you pick the child and throw the child away, that door secures the baby while it's growing. Imagine your heart. Imagine all your, how fragile your organs. Have you seen a human brain before? Have you seen a human heart? These things are so fragile, you can squeeze them with your hand. But let anything go wrong with them. Your brain is so delicate that there are so many doors. Your flesh, then your skull. God's intelligence to keep it safe so that regardless the careless playing as a child you will still survive and then those things will be kept intact if your body were not a door imagine footballers imagine goalkeepers they fly in the air they land on on, on the ground and yet they are still safe he keepeth his bones and none is broken but the mystery is through doors your body itself is a door covering so many sensitive organs that is the reason why every time a surgical procedure is about to happen before they reach to the organ of interest what do they do they have to create a system to open that door that is your body are we learning so our concern tonight is to teach you the forces that control open doors because the doors we are dealing with tonight are doors that have been closed by the devil doors that are hindering people from stepping into their prophetic destiny and since god has pronounced by his word through his servant that this is an open door coincidentally this is the prophetic word that god gave us even as a ministry that is a year and a season of open doors hallelujah there are forces that cause doors to be open from a standpoint of intelligence when you stand before an open door there are many 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 ways that doors open and i want to show you at least four of them tonight and then we begin to pray but thou O oh lord are a shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. That will be your song after this service. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
because among the many things that will be happening here is we are going to be commanding ancient gates to be lifted it says lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted ancient doors that the king of glory is not only the king of glory that will step in your destiny will step in your children will step in every ancient door that has been closed over your life i prophesy to you tonight already in the name of jesus that the one who holds the key of david is here tonight to swing those doors open in the name of jesus christ please be seated forces that control open doors are you ready number one the force of light the first force that is responsible for the opening of closed doors is the force of light light in scripture represents illumination light in scripture represents knowledge hallelujah it says arise shine for thy light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you light is profoundly important i hope you know that the reason why you see is not just because you have a pair of eyes it is the union of your eyes and light that equals sight if the light in this auditorium went you know the light is, is is switched off your eyes will still be working well yet you will not see or perhaps not see well hallelujah genesis chapter 19 10 and 11 very profound story there so this uh the men in sodom and gomorrah the bible tells us that when the angels came to visit lot the men came and you know they just wanted to have those angels to themselves and lord said no 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 no. you cannot commit this kind of abomination against these people and the people insisted and something profound happened 10 and 11 watch as i read but the men put forth their hand and pulled lot the men being the angels they pulled lot into the house to them and shut the door next verse and they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness both small and great what was the result they wearied themselves to find the door simply because blindness happened to them they were standing in front of the door but they could not open the door they wearied themselves in front of the door because light was taken away from them in Luke chapter 11 and verse 52 give it to us please Luke eleven fifty-two. I tell you I sense such power in this place woe unto you lawyers Jesus is rebuking them now for ye have taken away the key of knowledge say the key of knowledge one more time say the key of knowledge so light in scripture is also represented by keys one of the ways that doors open is through the force of light the application of correct keys there are keys that control doors look at me please how many of you know that the rooms every room in your house has keys you can have the key to your bedroom and not have the key to say the kitchen that becomes trouble for you if you are hungry because although you have a key you do not have the key that leads you to the place you desire so just because you have a key does not mean it opens all doors the key that opens financial doors will not necessarily open the doors of healing the keys that open the realm of healing may not necessarily open the realm of influence it is your assignment on that grace to begin to fish out these keys one by one so jesus says it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom he says and i will give you the keys it is by those keys you will bind you will cast you will allow you will disallow say keys let the devil hear say keys how many of you have experienced a situation where you lost the key to your house or the key to your door or you misplaced it temporarily can you imagine that a small key that you can slip into your pocket you stand helpless in front of that door in front of that uh, padlock or in front of your vehicle and you keep searching around where is this key the absence of a small key can so disorient you and make your day look sour keys are powerful they give you access as great as these doors are together combined you can literally put the key 
the keys that give you access to this auditorium in your pocket and yet when they are missing you will remain outside for as long as those keys are missing for someone in this place in the name of jesus by reason of this teaching the various keys that connect to the various dimensions of your destiny may you begin to find them by scripture hallelujah when god wants to open the door of the anointing he hands to you the keys that control the manifestation of the power of god when god wants to lift you he hands to you the keys for instance the keys of obedience according to deuteronomy 28 1 and 2 and it shall come to pass the bible says if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord thy god to do and to observe all his commandments which i command you this day that the lord your god shall exalt you above the nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you say keys say light the force of light the force of light keys of the kingdom we reign in this kingdom on the strength of the lights that we have he says arise shine isaiah 60 and verse 1 for your light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you i will always like to quote it from amplified arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you rise to a new light the bible says but the people that sat in darkness have seen a great light in the name of jesus every door that has refused to be opened the key that is required the correct key you have been turning wrong keys just because it is a key does not mean it to open for you the door of healing just because it is a key does not mean it to open to for you the door of ministerial exploit may the correct key by light be handed to your hands tonight shout a believers amen I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified light. When we have access to light in this kingdom, then our dominion is established. Capacity to open doors, even ancient doors. They did not open for those who went ahead of you because even though they were sincere, they did not understand the force of light listen by this teaching already god is challenging someone and planting within your spirit a holy on anger and tonight i want you to insist the door that did not open for my father the door that did not open for my mother it is not because the door cannot open i told you it is in the character of doors to be able to open and to close but not under every condition one of them is the ability to use the right key the right key there is a key that opens doors there is a key that opens the door that you intend and desire to be opened. can I give you number two the second force that is responsible for the opening of doors is called the force of prayer the force of prayer write it down please the force of prayer Acts chapter 12 1 to 10 the Bible says that it pleased Herod Herod decided to stretch his hands and vex certain of the Jews people in the church verse 2 he killed James the brother of John with the sword can you imagine that so James is dead and when he finds out verse 3 that it pleased the Jews, the Bible says he proceeded further. Everybody say proceeded further. This is what happens when you refuse to pray. When Satan afflicts your finances and you refuse to pray, he proceeds further. Every attack Satan launches is not the greatest he wants to launch. He will test you and watch your response. When you are careless and you give all kinds of flimsy explanations, it's just life, it's just the economy, he proceeds further. 
some of you the attack of satan started as just one small pain around your body and right now you've been diagnosed with a sickness thank god for tonight only god knows what would have happened to you are we together can i tell you satan is one person who you do not tolerate the weapon of prayer grants you access to peg him immediately don't give him any foothold when you give satan a foothold he will create a big space out of it he proceeded further to take peter also verse 4 when he now put peter in a prison can you imagine how this man was bound the bible says he was put in prison delivered to four quaternions of soldiers intending after easter to bring him forth to the people he was using the death of people to seek favor can you imagine such a man verse 5 here is the secret peter was kept in the prison but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto god for him profound expression but prayer was made without ceasing unto god by the church for him as a result next verse when herod would have brought him forth that same night peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door of the prison what were they keeping the door not just the man the man was already chained how would he lose himself but they were keeping the door closed verse six seven now behold in response to their prayer the angel of the lord came upon him and a light shined in the prison and he smote peter on the side raised him up and said arise quickly and the chains fell off his hands how many of you know that he was free but he was still bound because he was still behind a closed door verse 8 the angel said unto him gird thyself and bind on thy sandal so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me verse 9 watch this and he went out and followed him and which not that it was true which was done by the angel but he thought he was in a vision 10 the bible says watch this now watch the doors open when they came they were past the first and the second word those are doors and they came to a particular mysterious door called the iron gate that leads to the city let me use this to prophesy to someone there is always a door that leads to the city listen every city before the city sees you there is a door that if it opens the city must see you and for many of you you have come out of prison but the city cannot see you because that iron gate is still closed my bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron and thunder i decree and declare the gates that open to the city of asaba tonight may it be open hither and thither in the name of jesus christ please be seated now watch this the bible says the iron gate which leaded onto the city which opened to them of his own accord after that peter could leave doors can open when men pray doors can open when men pray prayer releases the power of god as seen in acts chapter 16 give us 25 and 26 as a result of delivering the damsel who had the spirit of divination paul and silas were kept in prison but the bible says at midnight paul and silas prayed after praying they sang praises unto god loud enough for the prisoners to hear them watch the power of prayer the bible says suddenly so prayer happens suddenly it brings the power of god suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prisons were open read the remaining part if you're a christian ready one to read and immediately all doors were open and how long immediately who told you the doors must open one by one by one there is a force that prayer can exert and in a moment including one month that the doors that could not open january february march april may june july august september october now november the bible says immediately all doors all doors financial doors 
doors of grace, doors of power. All doors open. The force of prayer. Can you pray in the spirit in one minute while you're standing? All doors. Prayer sustains the power to bring the power of God to the sea. And when God's power shows up, all doors. I don't know who this is going to happen to tonight, but in the name of Jesus, all doors. Begin to mention the doors. You know the doors. Command that they open because the King of Glory, doors of ministry, doors of your influence, doors of health, doors of marriage and your home, doors of fruitfulness. Someone prophesy. This is a prophetic atmosphere tonight. And immediately, all doors were open. All doors were open. All doors. Take a minute and pray. Whilst you pray, let a prophet pray that the door of the prophetic must open. Let an apostle in the making pray that the door of the apostolic must open. Let the healing revivalist pray. The door that opened for T.L. Osborne, let it open for me, O oh God. The door that opened for it had bonked. Let it open for me, O oh God. The door that opened for Billy Graham, let it open for me, O oh God. in the name of Jesus please be seated and I give you the third force what is the third force that opens doors are you ready the force of favor mm. yes sir yes sir the force of favor this is the mystery behind the statement knock and it shall be opened unto you it says knock and it shall be opened unto you the problem is if the person to open it does not like you it will not be opened knock and it shall be opened unto you Luke chapter 11 please 5 to 8 Jesus is teaching us on prayer and he uses a very very interesting story a parable now which of you shall have a friend everybody say friend shout it again say friend and shall go to him at midnight and say unto him friend lend me three loaves why for another friend say friend have you seen that this example is business among friends not enemies the one who came to visit was a friend. The one whose door he went to knock was a friend. A friend of mine in his journey is come to me and I have nothing to set before him. And the friend says, verse 7, He from within shall answer and say, Trouble me not. Why? The door is now shut and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give thee. But watch what favor does. I say unto you though he will not rise and give him because of friendship yet because of his importunity the word importunity there is the force of persistence he will rise and give him as many how many did the guy ask for three loaves how many did he give him as many that one is not just giving again he's under the influence of favor when it becomes as many the man asks for three I've calculated the number of the friends I'm asking you for three and the same man who said go away it's already late i'm in bed with my children does that look like what pharaoh did to israel after 430 years of vowing that he would not even give them straw by himself he carried the gold of egypt carried the floor of egypt and gave them and said go and serve your god favor is a potent force a force that opens the doors of destiny you cannot manifest your prophetic potential hear me without understanding the force of favor esther chapter 5 1 and 3 the bible tells us about hadassah esther now now that she had become queen her man was plotting to annihilate the jews and she needed to have access to the king and in ancient times 
if the king did not call her into his inner chamber if she went there on her own the price would not just be her leaving the throne like Vashti she would have to be put to death the king would have to lift his golden censer that means I have given you access you may proceed but now she's in a difficult situation Mordecai had warned her that God placed you there to be a savior a deliverer then Esther goes to fast and says fast with me I will go and meet the king if I perish I perish let's watch what happens this is what happens upon your life and what will happen to you from this night and after this night in the name of Jesus it came to pass on the third day that Esther put on her royal apparel and stood in the inner court of the king's house over against the king's house and the king sat upon his royal throne in the royal house over against the gate of the house verse 2 and it was so when the king saw Esther the queen standing in the court she obtained help me favor in his sight and the king held out to Esther the golden censer that was in his hand so Esther drew near that door opened because of favor and she touched the top of his scepter verse 3 then the king said unto her what will thou Queen Esther she had not spoken oh what will thou Queen Esther what will I give you and what is your request it shall be given unto thee even up to half of my kingdom Hapa. Vashti did not even ask for half of the kingdom just a little rebellion he drove her away here is a woman who came not invited but when favor came favor is like a mantle when it rests upon your life it begins to command the attention of men listen the character of favor is that it compels men to treat you with kindness to give you unusual access and to give you unusual acceptance favor do you believe in favor the number one reason why we excel in the cosmos in the world of men is because of this mysterious spiritual force called favor man of God if favor is not upon your life you can be sincere but nobody will come to stand with you to lift your hand while you serve God I tell you sincerely the cure for many of these manipulations that go on in church is to understand and to receive the grace of favor there are many great visions that cannot advance there are many potential Queen Esthers who are pecked in life because they have not mastered the art of smearing themselves with the oil that gives them access to Ahasuerus Esther was a village girl a little history a village girl from Shushan but when she went she met her guy the one who kept the king's virgins and he gave her a certain kind of oil he says I know the king you keep rubbing this oil for one year after that you are ready to go and see the king the Bible says the moment the king saw her she obtained favor more than all the virgins Esther 2 and verse 17 so that he placed the royal crown and the ring upon her and made her queen instead of Vashti and I tell you favor is a major definer of your possibilities in life and destiny you believe me when I say this a major definer it takes the favor of God for men to be loyal to you and to give you their heart it takes the favor of God for you to have men and women who believe in your vision and come to partner with you not just in terms of finances to pledge their loyalty to stand with you stand by you stand for you someone shout favor shout like you are receiving it say favor now most times when we talk about favor in church we just shout it like some Pentecostal jamboree and the people who receive it do not even know what it is for it's just a marketing of lust but I tell you God designed it in his economy that doors will not open until favor comes may I refer you to my teaching this grace called favor I've done an extensive teaching on the dynamics of favor I know what it means to walk in the favor of God a generation will never pay attention to you until you carry this grace the grace called favor is someone learning 
the third way doors open is through the force of favor there are people today who have houses they did not build there are people today who have been given lands they did not build let me speak to someone who is trying to look for land you are trusting God maybe not everyone but for those who are trusting God for structural establishment I prophesy Psalm 44 and verse 3 let me read it before I speak over your life and you will think I'm joking till you see what happens to you after this prophetic word this is how men are made the Bible says for they got not the land read with me in possession by their own sword neither did their own arm save them but thy right hand thine arm the light of your countenance because thou hadst a favor in the name of Jesus anyone trusting God for structural and territorial establishment I call upon the God of all grace the one who grants favor to men between now and the end of next year I don't know how my God will do it but may my God give you your space of land may my God give you territory in the name of Jesus Christ you are the covenant keeping God you are the covenant keeping God Yahweh the covenant keeping God Yahweh the covenant keeping God I say it again in the name of Jesus my God and your God don't worry let her do what she's doing in the name of Jesus I prophesy to you I'm saying it again one last time for someone here maybe a man of God let me focus on those in ministry the grace that gives you your own space because God is a God of portion I call upon my God the God of my covenant may he surprise you in a way that you have never seen in the name of Jesus Christ You believe what you are receiving? Please sit down. There are many builders and architects here. Do you know how much it takes to build one complete duplex without stealing? Notice what I said. Without stealing, whether from government or stealing from anybody, with integrity. There are many young men, if they do not carry favor, they will never be able to own one property in their lifetime. Not to this world. You know how much one bag of cement is? It is the reason why many people are plunging into so many things right now. Practices that are ungodly. Treasure is pushing people into all kinds of compromises. May favor rest on you. Let it rest on your ministry. Let it rest on your children. Let it rest on the works of your hands. It will be clear that you are Beulah and Hephzibah. You are a well-watered garden. You will be an example of what it means to walk in the favor of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. When the Lord gave me a revelation of favor many years ago. As one of the secrets that will keep me doing ministry with integrity and grace. I cried for one month. Praying for favor. I studied every material I could find about favor. The first thing that shocked me about favor was that many things we say about favor is not true. For instance, we call favor unmerited access. It's not exactly true. Favor is dimensional. Only one dimension of it is unmerited. When you are talking about favor as the saving grace of Jesus, every other dimension of favor is merited. Proverbs 13, 15. Read it if you're a child of God. Proverbs 13, 15 help us media when you see it projected let's read ready one to read no come on you have to read it louder one to go again uh-huh one last time by this scripture what is the secret of favor good understanding the bible says in all you're getting get understanding there are secrets that control favor for instance diligence for instance honor for instance favor provoking prayers for instance having the understanding on how to keep and maintain relationships these are the forces that control favor 
you've heard me say it again and again that in this world who hates you does not matter don't worry about those who hate you but in truth who likes you dear esther it takes only one ahasuerus and your life changes don't mind the who whoever hates you that's their cup of tea but who likes you are we together yes men are powerful though let me tell you when god wants to help you most of what you are praying now is not going to come from heaven it's already in the hand of somebody now right now the job the increase the promotion man of god the land including the impartation you are looking for it is true we say it comes from heaven but he's already routed it through vessels that are carrying it now say favor exodus 3 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians as about hear me and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye go anywhere go to nigeria go to europe go to america as ye go he says ye shall not go empty do you believe this i don't know how my life would have been without the favor of god sincerely luke chapter 2 and verse 52 even jesus increased in wisdom he increased in stature he increased in favor if jesus did not have favor with god and men they would have killed him for trying to carry somebody's donkey the man kept his donkey in peace even the owner had not ridden on the donkey but he said go to the street that the roads divide you will see a colt there that no man had ridden on lose it and bring it and if they ask you tell them the master adon the lord has need of it when favor is upon your life men will run over themselves as though under a spell to see that your destiny emerges it is true i know what favor can do can i tell you favor brings ease to the life of people it is not god's desire to wake up early and to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow my bible says he giveth his beloved sleep sleep there talks of rest he says the lord is my shepherd and i shall not want he leads me beside the still waters he restores my soul he guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake ladies and gentlemen hear me most of you you came for this conference right now and the door that has stood before you if those who went ahead of you knew the power and the value of favor when we talk about favor most people think money no the proof of favor is not money the proof of favor is access to the hearts of men you can have money without having favor you can just be diligent and exchange value and you can have some level of finances but favor is beyond that it was because the favor of the lord was upon joseph that even as a prisoner he excelled can i tell you the truth when god gives you favor with men joseph interpreted three people's dreams for two of them he remained in the prison but when he interpreted the king's dream he came out of prison you have been interpreting dreams god needs to change those whose dreams you are interpreting for as long as you are interpreting the dream of the wine presser and the dream of the baker congratulations but you will remain there but when the king dreams with the interpretation of that dream comes promotion there are architects today who are not the best there are business people today who are not the best but it so happened that the person who liked them and gave them visibility was such a great man and they began to handle contracts of billions and you look at them and in truth in truth they are not better than you and they know it it matters whose dreams you interpret man of god you can interpret the dreams of several people and that is wonderful you are mandated to do so but when god wants to help you god will send someone with nobility and grace and when you interpret the dreams they will hold your hand in return and say let me help to make this journey lighter for you do you believe this yes the force of favor let me quickly give you one more probably the last for now ah when it's time to pray my dear people pray on this favor thing oh did you hear what i'm saying not everybody is sick but everybody here needs favor you can insist that this is the gift you carry tonight 
it can come on you i knew my life without it and i knew my life with it one day of favor one see let me tell you this you know that it is favor when it happens again and again and again you've heard me say if it happens only once it is not favor it is called breakthrough but when it happens again regardless circumstances favor do you know that when the angel appeared to the virgin called mary what was the salutation he says you are highly favored was it necessary for her to excel did jesus need favor did mary need favor did the apostles need favor what makes you downplay favor man of god you are a genuine man of god sincere with all your heart but what you may be missing in your life is the favor of god when that grace came upon my life the assignment God gave me changed my life changed sometimes when I'm alone before the Lord I begin I'm not a very emotional person sometimes I try to cry in the midst of people but the tears doesn't come just doesn't come at all <laughs> hallelujah but not in his presence my goodness my goodness I look at my life and I say my God look what you have done is this what your favor can do this is what is happening to someone right now do you believe that hold on listen listen take it high for me everyone listen to me I'm taking time to say this because there are many 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 doors that you don't need to struggle at the back of that door there is someone already the key has been found all it takes is for the person to be willing to open do you believe this doors of ministry doors of destiny someone just holds your hand you are ebenezer the helper of man you are ebenezer that's my testimony lord you are my helper you are ebenezer don't tell me I came from a family where I'm the only one now. A family with no form, no comeliness. I show you a bailout system out of the realm of shame and disgrace and disappointment. God programmed favor as one of his systems. You can scale and watch doors open on their own because he's already positioned men there. And with the gallancy of royalty, they will swing those doors for you while you make progress. Is it not in your Bible now? Thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph. Doors of ministry, doors of influence. I have found myself as a man of God today in places that sometimes I am humbled and I say, my God, may I never get used to what you are doing. But this one, Kai. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but in the name of Jesus, someone who came for this meeting, what has never been done in the history of your family, what has never, I'm saying it by the spirit of prophecy, what has never, what you have not seen, in the name that is above all names, by the force of favor, every door, it doesn't matter how old it has been, it doesn't matter how long it has been closed may favor swing it open tonight let your grace grace called favor rest on me rest on me let this grace this grace called favor rest on me Rest on me, oh, 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 rest on me, rest on me, rest on me, rest on me, rest on me. Let me give you number four, and then we get straight into the miracle service. Ah, this atmosphere is stirred up. 
someone this is an answer to your fasting and prayer of many weeks god has shown you you have seen it in visions that you are the one the mantle is upon to lift up your family but i'm showing you the keys that bring you there for some of you your mother did not have the opportunity to hear a preacher preach like this but your mother kept praying for you to say lord i could not make it but can you carry my son can you carry this daughter can she be esther can he be joseph i i i did not i did not i failed with my own life but let me invest in prayer is that prayer that has brought you today make sure your heart and your spirit is open to receive because god is a covenant keeping god let your power holy ghost power rest on me rest on me let your power holy ghost power rest on me rest on me Force number one is the force of light access to the keys of the kingdom force number two what is the second force the force of prayer releasing the supernatural power of God to come into the scene force number three is the force of favor granting you access to the gift of man force number four the force of prophecy the fourth and final force I'm introducing to you today that can scatter any closed door. It doesn't matter how long that door has been closed. The Bible says how forcible are right words. Right words carry force. Not just right keys. Right words. When the right word comes your destiny, it does not just open it. It can scatter that door because if the door is open you can move but maybe to close over your children but when that door is scattered everyone behind you can now move listen for someone here I came in the spirit and the power of Elijah not just to open the door but to break that door finally in the name of Jesus Christ no there are doors that need to it's not just for them to open they must give way they must give way in the name of Jesus watch this help those under the anointing when the Philistines began to threaten Samson the Bible says Samson went and carried the gate he uprooted it and took it to a mountain and dropped it there not that he opened it he uprooted it I come in the spirit of Samson where is that door that gate that has vowed that you will not cross in in the name of Jesus the God of Jeshurun I decree and declare that gate is uprooted that door is uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ the force of prophecy Exodus 14 and verse 13 Ah, the spirit of the Lord is mighty in this place. That lady that is wearing pink, that lady praying, this one, lift your hands. I saw light coming on you and the Lord is telling me that doors will be opened for you in a very strange way. This man, are you a pastor come this one you what do you do you are huh? you, you are an architect I want to pray for you the call of God is on your life oh it's not only architecture but I'm going to pray you believe in the power of prophecy this prayer will shift you to dimensions in the spirit 
manifest and then dimensions in your field i stretch my hands may that anointing rest upon you and in the mighty name of jesus christ you will move to realms untold you will begin to excel by the power of the holy spirit i connect you to superior clientele i call them from the north the south and as i'm praying for him i'm praying for everyone too in the name of jesus may the lord draw your helpers for you in the name of jesus christ who is Sarah? I'm hearing the name Sarah. 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 Who is Sarah? Oh, you are the Sarah. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me. Rest on me. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me. Rest on me. Let me pray for you in the name of Jesus all of you who are here I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit I'm led to prophesy Genesis chapter 21 and verse 1 and the Lord visited Sarah as he has said and the Lord did unto Sarah that power from on high may it rest upon you may the Lord give you strange visitations in the name of Jesus Christ Please sit down for a moment. Exodus chapter 14 and verse 13. The power of prophecy as the force that commands open doors. Moses said unto the people, Fear not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord which he will show you today for the egyptians whom you have seen today you shall see them no more forever verse 14 it says the lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace watch this now verse 15 and the lord said unto moses watch this wherefore criest thou unto me speak to the children of israel that they go forward how do they go forward by you speaking to them he didn't say they should just move their legs you prophesy to them and say they go forward because if you do not speak even though they have the desire to go forward there is a door that is already closed it is called the red sea i hope you know the red sea was not just a river it was a door because that door opened they did not open it opened and they walked on dry ground you are the one who calls it a sea it is a river yes to you but it is a door and under a certain condition the door opened it says but lift up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it and the children of Israel go on dry ground through the midst of the sea 17 and behold I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians watch this and they shall follow them and i will get me honor upon pharaoh and upon his host upon the chariots and upon the horsemen the final verse the bible says and the egyptian shall know that i am the lord when i have gotten me honor upon pharaoh upon his chariots and upon his horsemen and so moses goes and says people let's get ready to go forward but it will be by prophecy and he says god has commanded me and he told them go forward he stretched forth the rod and the Bible tells us that even though he was stretching his rod, what really happened was the breath of God's nostrils on that river. And it suddenly became a door and opened heater and teeter, became a wall. I hope you know, if this place were a river, watch this, and you suddenly move the river, there is still a depression. So I can't walk on it. So it is beyond the river opening. The ground had to lift. To rise to a position where they could walk 
if this whole auditorium were a river and i'm standing here and the water suddenly vanishes there is a depression because that water occupied space it's not just that the river moved is that the ground began to elevate till it got to that position and then they started walking on dry ground and the egyptians came pursued them and when they had all crossed he said moses hurry up i want to close that door and the moment that door closed it closed with everything that was not of god and miriam wrote it so beautifully in a song she said i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and his rider has been thrown into the sea prophecy can i tell you there is no destiny listen there is no destiny that opens up without the prophetic not even jesus the prophetic has sadly been abused in our world today but ladies and gentlemen hear me just because of the abuse of the prophetic do not make a mistake of throwing away the prophetic your life will be limited almost all through your lifetime you may have heard me teach that there were three prophets that literally opened up the gates of Jesus's own destiny number one Simeon the prophet number two Anna the prophetess number three John the prophet who you call the Baptist Jesus your Jesus when John did not want to do it he says suffer it to be so it's an ordinance if I ignore the prophetic it will affect my rising my emerging hallelujah the prophetic has a unique ability to cause doors to be open people make progress when the prophetic comes upon their lives we are products of prophecy the speakings of men empowered and engraced by god the Bible says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Then it says, believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. The prophetic is powerful. When the prophetic is communicated within the boundary of scripture, it works wonders in the lives of those whose hearts are open. And tonight that word is about to come and rest upon someone's life. The prophetic when there was famine in samaria it took a prophet called elijah and he came by the spirit stood over samaria and said by this time tomorrow whoever believed it enjoyed the blessings whoever was too arrogant to believe it like the one who the king leaned upon died at the wall just where the door that led to abundance that was where he died when the axe head sank and it would not come up he said alas master for it was borrowed the prophet said where fell it and he threw the rod and the axe head began to float when the woman's child died she ran to the prophet and the prophet brought that child back to life can i tell you when god wants to help you he sends a prophet in truth to your life now let me tell you how the prophetic works not every prophet solves everybody's problems i can be greatly anointed but not sent to you the bible says there were many widows in zarephath but to none was elijah sent that means as elijah was on his way going he met other widows he just greeted them and passed he had no ministry to them how are you madam oh sorry about the loss and he left when he got to the one he was sent to he said i'm sent to you when god wants to help you he helps you very early in life to see the prophet sent to you not the prophet available the prophet sent they were going around looking for the lost donkey Saul now and they said look we can't sit down here and keep wasting our time this donkey will not go back there is a seer there is a man whose word does not fall to the ground let's carry a gift and go and look for him 
as soon as they met this mysterious man called Samuel number one the donkey started going back home on its own number two he said you will meet three men holding two loaves of bread they will salute you and they will give to you receive it from them number three you will come to the garrison of the Philistines and the spirit of prophecy will rest upon you you will be turned into another man can I tell you when you find the prophet sent to you and you are able to receive your life will dramatically change dramatically change hallelujah do you believe this many widows in Zarephath the fact that you came here tonight by the spirit is because this grace was sent to you and I want you to sit back and watch the wonder working power of the prophetic I've, I've seen what the prophetic can do my goodness this meeting you see is a product of what the prophetic can do there are many many great ministers you love the Lord with all your heart you are at a level right now where this door that has been closed you just need a prophetic push to part this Red Sea no matter how anointed you are you need that prophetic push hallelujah believe in the Lord your God the conditions for receiving from the prophetic is number one discernment you must discern who is this person that God has brought before you I'm not talking of human worship but discernment he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward to receive a prophet is not just about kneeling down and doing although I know that Africans will respect people but receiving a prophet is receiving him as touching that office hallelujah I wish I had time I would have shared with you various stories of the a prophet does not have to be somebody who bears the office of a prophet there is the office of the prophetic there is the gift of prophecy there is the operation of the prophetic every believer has access to the operation of the prophetic because the Bible makes everyone prophetic it is a more sure word of prophecy I can take scripture and speak over my life that is the operation of the prophetic but this is not what I'm talking about I'm talking about the prophetic resting upon your life many years ago you've heard my story I went to buy sugar cane and when I went to buy sugar cane, I saw two mysterious women. And they kept looking at me. They also went to buy it. And old women. And then I decided that I was going to pay for them. I said, please, you are my mothers. Let me just honor you. They refused, but I insisted. They were trying to lose their wrapper and bring out the money, but I insisted. It was, I'm not sure it was more than 100 naira. Then I bought it for them. Then they began to bless me. To bless me. I don't know why I did not pay attention but I remember one of the women I truly believe if I'm wrong I'm sure in heaven God will correct me but I do not believe those women were ordinary women and if they were then there was a mysterious covenant in the order of Melchizedek one of the women looked at me and said my son forever walk upon gold hallelujah We're returning from a place after Quara, going to Ekiti State. And I passed a very small village where people lived there mysteriously long. Hundred and something years. I kept seeing obituaries, 113, one this, then I saw 136. He had just died. I went to preach then, some years ago, quite a while. In a university called Afe Babalola University and when I was done preaching there at their program I was returning back because we flew through Quara State Ilori and on our way returning 
I now stopped. I told the driver, stop. I said, find somebody for me who can speak English. I saw a group of women standing. And I said, we are men of God. We want to receive this grace by prophecy for long life. What makes people to live mysteriously long? The women could not understand English very, you know. And so God helped us. We found somebody who could interpret. And then I said, who is the oldest man now within this community? I want to sow into the man and just bless the person to speak over us. And then we leave. Eventually, they led us to one man. He was seated. Then they brought us to the room. Our interpreter talks to him. These are young men, ministers of the gospel. They came to receive the grace for long life. And the man smiled. He said, kneel down. See, those who carry this thing bar, they know they have it. They know they have it. A hospital does not look for patients. It just equips itself and waits. Whoever is desperate enough, even if it's ICU, you will find yourself there a hospital there are mobile hospitals yet but classically speaking hospitals don't move around from house to house saying are you sick if you are sick you find yourself people fly to india to america fly to uk fly to all kinds of hospitals relocate themselves from region to region because of their desperation to get to a good hospital that man began to pray in yoruba and as he was praying honestly i didn't care what he was saying my heart was just opened lord whatever covenant you have with these people that keeps making them live long because i know the kind of travels i'm traveling i know the kind of call god has called me to and i don't want to take a risk with my life i felt like a crown resting upon my head while he was praying and whilst we were done sowed the seed into his life appreciated him on my way going back to get into the car they now told me that the man who was 136 years a man of god who just died that was his wife standing <laughs> no stick no nothing the wife of his youth oh i said let's go back i went back and i met i said please the man has died but marriage has made two become one so whatever is in him is also in her I said can they beg her to still pray for us again the woman laughed and she tapped me she said follow me we entered a room and she was showing me photos these were photos with her husband and you know those days they married very 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 early this was the wife of his youth till he died she showed me the photos as many as they could gather afterwards the woman asked us to kneel down she removed her shoes and stood on her bare legs and began to sing and chant and cry upon the name of the lord for over 15 minutes this woman was raining down blessings afterwards i ran back to my people i said you people should stand up i came with a gift i came with no no, no i'm not saying you should stand up <laughs> i ran to my people very quickly let your power power of wisdom rest on me rest on me let your fire holy ghost fire rest on me rest on me listen there are men and women you've heard my teachings when i talk about the prophetic i usually give one or two stories just to encourage you there's a man who had now died called pat robertson the founder of cbn 700 club i heard that man and he said as a young man when he was about to start ministry he cried to god and he said god give me three things number one give me wisdom number two give me favor number three give me the power of the holy ghost i went back to god in prayer if these are the three things that made that man I prayed the same prayer God give me wisdom God give me favor God give me genuine power the power of the Holy Ghost and like Jabez God saw the sincerity of my heart and God heard it tonight someone is receiving these three things I can't guarantee that is everybody but I know someone the spirit of wisdom the grace for favor and then the power the anointing the unction 
of the Spirit of God. May it rest upon you in Jesus' name. What is God going to do tonight? Number one, God is going to be opening strange, mysterious doors. Doors that you do not even know are there. Because you are so used to walls and limitations, you do not even know that there are doors and that under a certain condition, they can open. What is God going to be doing right now? There are people who have come with all kinds of infirmities. God has given a mandate to not allow Satan to wreck your life. The healing ministry is a very powerful end time ministry. Because everybody is given only one body per lifetime. And if Satan destroys that body, whether it is your time or not, you will have to leave. There is a requisite level of health for your spirit to remain in your body. And when your body is deteriorated beyond a certain threshold, your spirit will have to leave. So every time the devil afflicts you with sickness, it is a measure of death coming to your life. What is God going to do tonight? Age-long captivities curses and yokes that help people down listen in this business of ministry i have seen captivity firsthand i remember one time a very precious wonderful beautiful lady true story in desperation for a child the mother went somewhere and the man did all kinds of things and said you will have a child he said but when that child is 20 years make sure you return back true story and she said by then you would have died and the man pointed one young boy and he said this boy will be the one who will be doing this by that time make sure you return this lady if you don't whatever happens true to it if i'm joking i'll tell you i'm joking when this lady clocked 20 on the dot you would dare not come near this lady saying i want to go and see your parents or what 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 will rob the, it will wait will rubbish you by yourself you will just reverse and go back there are people who are sincere, but they are carrying influences, victims of all kinds of things. The Bible says, upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. And after which the sons of Jacob will possess their possessions. Can I tell you, every chain that has tied you to yesterday, tied you to ancestry and would not let you go. As a man of God, the Bible says we have been called out of every tribe, tongue, nation blotting out every handwriting the assignment of this ministration is to enforce by grace that which has been finished in christ are you ready to pray and then i will be speaking over your life in the next one minute and then we're going to do everything together please be sensitive this is a moment you must not miss open your mouth and begin to declare the thing that god must do in your life tonight as a testament of your own open door souvenir father make it happen go ahead and pray go ahead and pray someone pray someone pray someone pray someone pray Hi, 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 hi. Glory be to God. Hey. Hi, 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 hi. Glory be to God. Hi, 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 hi. Glory be to God. Hi, 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 hi. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Ay, 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 glory be to God. Man of God, pray. Ay, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Evalenda Balekros Kaberatus Kabregede. You come from a background where men do not rise. It's time to end that yoke. Ah, it's time to end that yoke. It's time to end that yoke. You come from a family where women are the men and men are women. It's time to break that yoke. Someone get angry for one minute. A prophet in the making, a man of God in the making. I like you to pray. 
it's time to carry fire tonight it's time to carry grace tonight only healed people can heal others only those delivered can deliver others only saviors can save others what is that for sitting on your ministry sitting on your family hallelujah hallelujah now let's do this very quickly please look at me bring out your prayer requests and i want you to pass it to the last person by your left or right to make it easy easy for ushers ushers very quickly i want you to just move through the aisles don't worry nobody's reading your request just bring it so that we prepare everything at once i want to pray ministering deliverance and healing right now just a minute for you to bring your prayer request that which you have written that the lord will do as a testament of open doors Ah, there are many men of God that will rise from this meeting honestly this is what God is showing me there are many people Asaba is in need of greater envoys greater witnesses and I'm saying there is an oil there is a stirring God is still looking for there are not enough men of God I'm telling you there are many great people but there are still more and there will be an emergence of young men this man will be disciplined young men with character and fire they will understand the ways of the kingdom like never before let me start with these people I'm going to pray right now our ushers are busy how do we do it now if the ushers are busy maybe worship team will join the ushers or any other department if they are not singing they can join to do whatever it is because there are so many people here and sometimes I may request that you bring some of the people out I want us to do it very quickly before I pray deliverance and healing the Lord wants to call some people out you have been walking with the spirit in the secret place and there is a mantle that it, your destiny needs there are prophets that must rise there are intercessors that must rise many prayer groups this is what God is telling me many prophetic and apostolic prayer groups are going to rise across Asaba young men they will come together and begin to pray down the purposes of God my assignment tonight is to open you to certain dimensions I'm about to pray I want you to bring those people whether you are an usher or not once the power of God rests on someone let's do it very fast so that we don't stay unnecessarily long my father I pray in this place there are women where are they by the spirit i decree and declare everyone who has a role to play in this prophetic agenda of the spirit over asaba right now i declare let that wind blow let that wind blow let that wind blow from the front to the back from the front to the back the left to the right let that wind blow help them please someone ushers get something to cover them eh? let that wind blow in the name of Jesus let that wind blow let that wind blow let that wind blow warriors of prayer I call you by the spirit arise now warriors of prayer champions of the altar women men I call you by the spirit arise in the name of Jesus warriors of prayer warriors of the spirit men who understand the altar oh you will be warriors in your homes you will be warriors across territories i stir up that fire i stir up that fire the borders the borders are rising the borders are rising the borders are rising, the borders are rising. with fire with fire with fire the borders 
Deborah's arising. I say it by the voice of prophecy. Deborah's arising. Issachar's arising by the power of the Holy Ghost. Someone go ahead and pray. I'm available, oh God. Everyone pray that prayer. Available. Right to the back. Are you praying? I'm available. Let that mantle for my destiny rest upon me. Available. To be used mightily. Available. Available for my campus. Available in Asaba. A woman of fire. All those who are in front here the Lord brought you by his spirit hear me after tonight there is a level of consecration that you are stepping into for some of you you are stepping into seasons of fastings seasons of prayer God will be revealing himself to you multiplying visions I pray for you you may look weak but may power from on high mantle you this moment may power from on high mantle you this moment that God's prophetic program for in gathering for Asaba for the south south under your watch may it not be aborted in the name of Jesus I pray the same prayer for everyone here who is in ministry apostolic ministry prophetic ministry evangelical ministry intercessory ministry the grace to stand strong the grace to remain the grace to be unmovable the grace to not compromise may that grace rest upon you now the staying power to do ministry with integrity may it be released upon you of Jesus the prayer that you have received that grace remains with you you will not lose it through carelessness you will be yielded until you become you will be yielded until you are changed you will be yielded until you evolve to a very superior version of yourself in Jesus name we pray amen return to your seat if you can I want to pray now for those who are oppressed 
There is liberty in Christ. There is liberty in Christ. There is liberty in Christ. I want to pray now. There is liberty in Christ. Hear me. I'm going to be ministering deliverance right now. What is deliverance? The process that establishes the victory of Christ upon the life of a believer, separating you from any spirit or any condition that impedes your becoming and your manifesting like Christ. Deliverance is not just separation from spirits. It is also separation from conditions. Hallelujah. And I'm going to pray right now. There are people in this place bound by all kinds of satanic things from addictions to curses to yokes patterns that have been happening around your life and family patterns of death patterns of failure patterns of idol worship patterns of all kinds of things it's time for it to go i'm going to pray for you now at the count of three, you are going to shout the name of Jesus. Those under the anointing, you will leave them. Eh? But then all those who now are under the anointing, I want you to gently bring them out as I begin to pray. It's important. Ushers, well done to you and all those who are working. This is the sacrifice you are doing for the sake of those whose destiny must be lifted. I'm going to pray a prayer and I will ask all of you to shout Jesus. And as you shout that name that is above every other name, every altar, and everything that is not of God that has authorized the reign of darkness over your life it must give way now father you have given power to bring deliverance unto your people in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands like Moses did across Asaba and I decree and declare everyone right now who is under any kind of yoke any kind of curse every legal access Satan has to your life as the count of three as you shout that name, I decree and declare may that access be broken and let your deliverance be established. Are you ready to shout now? At the count of three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Be set free now. Be set free now. Be set free now. Bring them out. I curse every spirit. I curse spirits of ancestry I call you by name and I curse you by the blood of the lamb I bring deliverance right now I bring deliverance right now let them go release their families release their destinies release their families from the front to the back the left to the right I say it again every bondage that has held anyone bondage of addiction, patterns of darkness, molestations in dreams, retrogressions, spirits of delay, in the name of Jesus Christ, the one who died and rose again, be set free this moment, let them go, I set altars on fire, let the consuming fire rest upon every altar. is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by hear me there is a spirit sitting upon the destinies of firstborns the ones who have opened the womb that they will keep serving the younger is the spirit that came upon Esau I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant let that agreement with darkness be broken now let it be broken now 
is your prophetic destiny in the name of Jesus spirits that have brought poverty over families regardless their diligence they only live by begging from others right now every altar that powers that manifestation it comes under attack now hallelujah he told Zechariah what seest thou and he said I see four horns these are the horns that have exalted themselves above Israel above Jerusalem and above Judah he said I have sent four carpenters four carpenters I have come tonight as a privileged carpenter every horn that has exalted itself over your family there are some of you there are patterns every year someone must die every two years someone must die just when people are about to rise let me speak over those families oh death where is your sting and and all grave where is your victory the power of untimely death over families let that door be closed now let that hear me I'm ministering as the Lord is putting it in my spirit there is the spirit of lateness people always do things late the first person that builds builds at 50 the first person that finishes school is at 35 or 40 he says satisfy me early with your goodness I want to pray for you the spirit of lateness that makes you crawl like a snail in destiny I command by the fire of the Holy Ghost anyone who is a victim of lateness be delivered this moment now hallelujah hear me the Bible says do not let your good be evil spoken of do you know there are men and women just when it is time to lift them there is a dark cloud that comes upon them and everybody starts to hate them including those who can help them the moment that opportunity lifts then everything becomes normal I don't know who has been like Jabez that the, the garment I'm seeing dark veils dark veils just covering the faces of people this is what I see in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the prayer of Jabez may my God bless you may my God enlarge you may his hand rest upon you I tear off that veil of shame I tear off that veil of reproach in the name of Jesus Christ please be sensitive God is doing something in your life hallelujah that the younger will head over the elder that was the course in the Bible I see two nations but the younger will head over the elder but my Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more say more and more that is the heritage of the believer in Christ I taught you yesterday that the end point the end of our business in the spirit is the glory the manifestation of the glory of God in and through the life of the believer in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing the hands of people tied in the spirit these are chains that have held the hands of people right now the fire of God is going to rest and begin to break that chain father everyone from this vision you are showing me everyone whose productivity has been under attack in the name of Jesus resulting to unemployment resulting to failure in business by the power that raised Christ from the dead may that chain be broken now may that chain be broken now 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all of you who are in front here, I decree and declare over you every spirit that will not let you go. Pharaoh drowned into the sea together with his people. And I declare every power I speak as one sent in the name of Jesus, release their families now. Let them go in the name of Jesus that they may go and serve the Lord acceptably. Every legal access you have over their lives and their families is hereby broken forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. We overcame them by the blood of the Lamb, the Bible declares, and the word of their testimony. You are delivered now and delivered forever. In Jesus' name. Now, if you are trusting God for healing, please you can return back to your seat for those who can. Lay your hands right now. I want to pray for you. I believe in the healing ministry with all my heart. I have seen the power of God bring healing to people people who would have been dead now you are not only receiving it but you are also receiving the anointing to be an extension of the same to God's people very quickly I want to pray for you for sake of time we may not have the time to call for testimonies miracle services are usually services that demand an extensive time because of the enormity of the problems that people have the spirit of a prophet is subject to the prophet but sometimes you are moved by compassion as you see the kinds of problems that people carry but I have to pray for you listen I have been a victim of sickness before I know what sickness can do there are some of you who have been told the moment you are 30 the moment you are 40, the moment you are 50, the moment you are 60, start preparing for your grave. Because it looks like there are sicknesses, prostate cancer, all kinds of satanic manifestations. But I want to pray. Please lay your hands and believe Jesus. I sing praises to your name. Oh God. Praises to your name, oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. I sing praises to your name, oh God, praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and greatly. Do you know? Hold on, please. Because of the enormity, because of the kinds of situations of people, tomorrow is our final miracle service back home in Abuja. And do you know there are literally hospitals, not just in Nigeria, across the globe. And may God bless the owners of those hospitals who literally they just bring screens at the wards or some of them allow their patients on phone just when the miracle service is going on and there are patients in the hospital because doctors are right now becoming spiritual people too and bless God for doctors that are tongue talking Jesus loving and serving they know when it is just a natural cause and they know when this one is a spirit and the phenomenal miracles that God has done. I, I, don't, I don't know anything that humbles me more than that. That in this place right now there are people. Some you may not even know you are sick. Others you know from ulcers to blood pressure. And all kinds of things. A young, beautiful, vibrant lady just about to start her life. And they say they just found cancer somewhere. And sadly, in two weeks, the cancer has spread and it's about to destroy you. No. Lay your hands and I want you to believe. If you are not sick in your body, you can stand in for someone. But by all means, believe in the healing power of Jesus. I know he heals. He truly is the healer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over Asaba. 
your precious people have come some have cried some like the woman with the issue of blood have spent their entire I'm hearing the word angina that looks that looks like a heart related problem something a deformity or some problem with the heart this is what I'm hearing in the name of Jesus whoever it is that has that condition that heart problem I'm not a medical doctor but in the name of Jesus be healed now please believe it and after I pray I want you to shout a believing amen every spirit of infirmity that is behind every sickness wasting millions of your naira help mama help mama something is happening to her I command that spirit right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead I come as one sent by the blood of Jesus that was shed upon the cross that fountain that flows through Calvary in the name of Jesus lose your hold right now lose your hold right now in the name of Jesus Christ now I decree and declare Asaba from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name back pain be healed in Jesus name pain around the groin area be healed in Jesus name eye condition whether total blindness or partial blindness be healed in Jesus name deaf ears be open now in Jesus name everybody with any growth a lump around breast lump or some growth fibroids of all kinds I cost them right now I cost them right now my God the power of God is moving here someone with severe pain around your shoulder in the name of Jesus who died and rose again be healed right now there's someone you have a problem urinating you are not able to go out you you can go there and stand for a long time just easing yourself literally in droplets I want to pray for you this you may not know I'm not a medical doctor I'm just saying as the Spirit of God is revealing to me this is the early symptoms of prostrate in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hand over that man you are a gentle man I decree and declare whatever is enlarging your prostrate we cause it right now in Jesus name there's someone God is showing me you have a fertility issue that is related to men you're a man you have a fertility issue this is an embarrassing issue you have gone to the hospital you've seen a doctor they've given you drugs I'm praying for you right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead in your name I come alive to declare your victory the resurrected King is resurrecting me by your spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat the resurrected king is resurrecting you the resurrected king is resurrecting you I decree and declare life surges into your body now there's someone you don't have any visible sickness any ailment but something began to happen to you from last year you get tired easily the moment you walk or do something strenuous you are a young person but you become tired as if you are an old person in the name of Jesus Christ let healing come for you now I'm seeing something that looks like a leather and I'm seeing it boiling and the Lord is saying I should pray for someone that there is poor oxygen flow in your body poor oxygen flow in your body this thing you keep having sometimes you feel like you want to pass out because there is poor oxygen flow in your body I decree and declare right now 
be healed from that infirmity anyone having problems with your lumbar vertebra in the name of Jesus let it be corrected now let it be corrected now there's a gentleman you are having a problem you have severe pain around your joints you are not a sickler but you are having pro you know how sicklers are when they start having the crisis your joints your feet you are having very severe it's like a circulation problem in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you wherever you are by the power of the Holy Spirit be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now I see a woman you get pregnant but it does not reach three months you have to lose that baby something happens and you lose that baby this has happened a number of times in the name of Jesus we are praying for you right now according to the time of life by this time next year may the God who gives children I say it prophetically by this time next year by this time next year if I be a man of God I prophesy by the Spirit by this time next year return with your miracle child there's a woman here I want to pray for you you are beginning to feel pain at the left side of your breast and this thing you've been afraid to go to the hospital if I don't pray for you I'm seeing that this thing is becoming a cancerous thing and I'm seeing a situation where they are saying quickly they have to take off one of it wherever you are let the power of God that devil that wants you to lose the parts of your body to cancer Parakatos kateba lakata, ebreke de belentos kia tabarakos kia, rakatos ke berende beke de ya. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. I've seen this situation. God is showing me many times. Why it happens, I don't know. But your hair is falling. Literally, you are losing your hair. A lady. You are losing your hair. I mean, very, very significant amount of your hair just falling like someone who went through chemo and is losing their hair. In the name of Jesus, the same grace that grew back the hair of Samson, may that grace rest upon you for fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus, every infirmity that will not let you rest, I decree and declare be healed now be healed now breathing problems be healed now in Jesus name everyone begin to pray in the spirit please bring for me the request okay stretch your hands and begin to pray in the spirit in one minute please pray everyone those who are following online you can connect by faith we're about to pray over this request right now is someone believing god for a miracle go ahead speak to the lord if you are yet to submit your request please do that quickly we have to hurry up you can wave it and an usher will pick very quickly man of god i want you to stretch your hands because you are not only agreeing with me in prayer you are carrying this same grace in the name of jesus and with it god will help you to do wonders in the life of those who look up to you someone pray hallelujah now I'm going to bow my knees and pray and all I want you to do is to agree with me in faith you don't have to kneel I will do the kneeling for you holy holy blessed is he who comes in the name of our God Holy. Are there still requests? Bring them. Who comes in the name of our God? We hail you. We worship you. We hail you, Most High. Listen. I was caught up in the realm of the Spirit.
many years ago and that was where I heard this song it was not a song that I wrote it was a song that I heard the angels sing Lion of Judah the Lamb upon the throne we hail you most high the Lion of Judah the Lamb upon the throne we hail you most high we hail you we worship you we hail you most high someone go ahead and begin to pray from the back to the front these Egyptians that I see today I see them no more forever in the next one minute go ahead and pray Someone go ahead and pray. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. Ah. You're my glory, the lifter of my hand. You're my glory, the lifter of my hand. You're my glory, the lifter of my hand. Say, so You're my glory, Lord. You're my glory, the lifter of my hand. You're my glory, the lifter of my hand. Hallelujah. I know the God that answers prayer. I know the God that answers prayer. There is a covenant of answered prayer. Solomon, in dedicating the temple, he said, Lord, whoever faces this direction and cries, that you will hear and you will hearken. In the name of Jesus, I pray right now by the power of that raised Christ from the dead every request that is written here for everyone who believes in the name of Jesus the one who has shown us mercy receive this request as testimonies receive this request as instant testimonies hear me many of these prayer requests are men dependent that means there are those who have been anointed by god to be the channels to answer prayers i prophesy to the north the south the east and the west of asaba whoever must come into divine partnership with the spirit of grace to make for the answers of this prayer wherever they are in the name of jesus we summon them to honor the word of prophecy in the name of jesus christ And every man who says over his dead body for you to rejoice and see the hand of God in the name of Jesus may the earth open and swallow them I stand upon these requests prophetically and I decree and declare every trouble that has sat on your head I bring it under the feet of Jesus and I declare unto you Asaba in gathering and the community of believers here represented these egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever in the name of jesus christ are you ready to receive prophetic words 
son of man can these bones live and he said only thou knowest can i tell you the truth if you receive the prophetic declarations that i'm bringing over your life you will marvel and wonder at the things that begin to happen In the name of Jesus, I speak over everyone who has come for this conference. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, hear me, every door that has closed over you, closed over your ministry, closed over your business, closed over your children, closed over your influence, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I speak to that door, Ephata, be open. Ephata, be open. Ephata, be open. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, you don't have to bring those under the anointing in front again. Just guide them and say. And the king sent for Joseph. And they brought him out of his dungeon. Every destiny helper who must send for you. To transit you from where you are. To the next level of your prophetic destiny. Wherever they are. I call upon the God of my covenant. Who is also your God. Between now and December 31st. Please hear me. I prophesy to you. May your destiny help us show up in your life. May your destiny help us show up in your life. In the name of Jesus. I'm hearing restoration in my spirit. I don't know what you have lost. Some you have lost time. Some you have lost relationships. Some you have lost things. Some you have even lost mantles. I'm praying for you now. The grace that restores, may it land upon you. The grace that restores, may it land upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace that restores, I say it again. May it rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready to receive favor? Father, I pray. In the name of Jesus. For everyone here who believes. That there is actually a grace called favor. I'm praying. In the name that is above all names. I call upon my God. The one who has shown me mercy. Let that grace. Let that mantle for favor. Let it rest upon you now. Let that grace for favor rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for the works of your hands? Now listen please. I was speaking to a few people yesterday. And I told them something. We're wrapping up. I want to pray a very serious prayer for you. There is a grace called the power to prosper. Do you know how it works? There are three dimensions to the operation of that grace. It comes upon your head, it comes upon your hands, and it comes upon your feet. Listen carefully. When that grace comes upon your head, it activates creativity and illumination and understanding. Elihu said there is a spirit in man, 32 and verse 8, and the breath, the spirit, the breath of the almighty, maketh men of understanding. Then number two, it rests upon your hand representing productivity that the lord will bless the works of your hands it causes the works of your hands to be desired and gravitates those who place value on what you do to locate you and to honor you then number three it rests upon your feet bringing guidance and direction because you can have the right thing but be in the wrong place are we together now 
Abraham, if he remained at all of the Chaldeans, even though he was a sincere man, he would never be blessed. There are times where God relocates men to their desired place. Are we together? Direction is important and guidance is important. These are subsets of the manifestation of wisdom. Wisdom as divine direction. The Lord is my shepherd and because of his ability to lead and guide me, I shall not want. I want to pray this grace for you. Upon your head, upon your hand, upon your feet. Let it rest now. I say it again, upon your head, supernatural creativity in a way you have never seen. Illumination, understanding of things. And I pray for your hand. You are in business, you are working, you are a, an employed person, whatever endeavor you are engaged in, in Jesus' name, may that grace rest upon you. And finally, find supernatural direction. You know where to go to. You are led by the Spirit. You will never go to a place of trouble. You will never go to a place of loss. You will never go to a place of decline. You will never find your way to Sodom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now hear me. Please hear me. I want to pray this very sincere prayer from my heart. Of all the prayers and the prophetic words, this in my opinion is the greatest you are about to receive. I want to pray for your spiritual life. That includes your prayer life. That includes your passion for the word. That includes your passion for the house of God. In all your receiving, you did not receive much. If this one does not rest on you. There is a grace that causes men to pray. The spirit of prayer and supplication. It makes you to become one who understands the mysteries of the altar. And from there you will command power with God and power with men. There is the passion for the word of God that causes you to desire the word of God even more than your necessary food. There is a grace that makes the house of God a delight for you. I was glad when they said unto me, let us. When there is a decline in membership within a territory, something is wrong with the passion and the fire of the people. Therefore, I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, whatever has taken your spiritual life down, compromises, carelessness, prayerlessness, wordlessness, lack of passion for the things of God lack of commitment to serve in the house of God by this fire by this power I find to flames your prayer altar I find to flames your prayer altar I say it again I find to flames your prayer altar in the name of Jesus receive passion for the word of God the discipline to fast, the discipline to wake up and pray, the discipline to study the word, the discipline to love the house of God, the discipline to live for Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, let it rest upon you. Hear me? Anybody who fights you from today goes down instantly. In the mighty name of Jesus in this great prophetic atmosphere before you receive the final blessing i want to count one to five and in that count i want to give someone an opportunity who is an apostle i desperately need jesus listen please keep standing there are many people here who are saying apostle whilst hearing you teach whilst hearing you preach the hunger and the passion for the things of the spirit is welling up within me but I have never truly made Jesus Lord of my life. Or you are saying, I remember making this declaration of faith. But as it stands right now, something is, is capitally wrong with my spiritual life. I need your mercy. I need your help, oh God. I'm going to count one to five. I don't know where that person is. But in the name of Jesus, as I count one to five, I want you to run and come and stand here. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne We raise, come We raise the sound For 
for he is God and God alone. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne, we raise a sound, we raise a sound. Over the nations of the earth, over the nations of the earth. What a mighty harvest tonight, young and old, male and female. Only Jesus can draw this many to himself. Let's honor him with a great hand clap for this once. Now for all of you who are here, may I request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender. Lift it high to Jesus, not to a man, not to Joshua Selman. Lift it. Say after me as loud as you can. And please, I want you to mean it from your heart. You're not reciting a poem. Jesus is in this place. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time. Say, Lord Jesus. I love you with all my heart. I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again. For my justification right now i receive your life i receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and i declare that from tonight i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever I live for Jesus keep your beautiful hands lifted and I pray for you father based on the authority of your word the integrity of your word alongside your confession I decree and declare that truly the power of sin Satan hell and the grave let it be broken over your life and every spirit that will not let you serve Jesus acceptably and in truth, I cast it out of your life now. I commend you to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. And I decree and declare that the spirit of grace will begin a journey with you that leads you to become a manifestation of the glory of God. From tonight, you go forward ever and backward never. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. amen. Now we have such a crowd of people. I do not know if the counselors are able to handle this. They are able to. Okay, here's what you do for me. I know that there are a lot of you and we're going to make that as fast as possible. May I please request as many of you who can just walk straight to my left. That will be your right. And there'll be a group of counselors who will have a word. Within minutes, they are done with you and you will rush back. Let's honor them as they go. What a great harvest. Asaba, is this how you give Jesus praise for a harvest? Hallelujah. Amen. Just one more function very quickly and then we're out of here. Where's um, Pastor Ike and his wife? Please, let's appreciate them as they come. Let me just speak over their lives for the next level. Celebrate them as they come. Thank you, Jesus. It is the grace of God that rests upon our lives that makes the difference. 
in our faith adventure just a moment and then we're done please please if for any reason any one of these people moving if they left their bags their bibles please those of you who are their neighbors do well to protect it for them we do not want a situation where people leave and then we hear that they are missing bags or missing bibles you shouldn't come here and steal you already know what to rest on your head in this kind of atmosphere hallelujah pastor ike and the wife can we appreciate them as they come very quickly let me speak a word of blessing on their behalf i want to say a very big thank you to all those who have stood by them stood with them hallelujah let's honor them in gathering global honor your pastors oh they are coming with their lovely children okay let's give them a big big god bless you is this how you honor grace within your land come hallelujah praise the name of the lord now stretch your hands towards them in one minute we're out of time but everything that you desire to rest on your own life please i'd like you to speak it over them in one moment lord help them many people have no idea the kind of attacks that are on men and women of god in this end time the devil desires for ministers of the gospel to fall the devil desires for them to be destroyed the devil des desires that their testimonies that have been built over decades is destroyed in one day please pray for them lord keep them keep their family keep the children it will never be that the purposes of god will go down under their watch is someone praying from the depth of your heart lord raise men and women who will stand by them in prayer raise prophetic intercessors raise financiers for them grant them increased influence in the name of jesus father thank you so much for pastor ike thank you for his dear wife and the lovely children thank you in the name of jesus for that which you are doing i am very proud of what you are doing in their lives helping them to blaze the fire of revival across this territory lord by the spirit and by the election of grace i measure a thousand cubits for them in the spirit i'm praying that you shoot them higher and deeper in the name of jesus christ as i lay my hands upon them and the children lord i pray that the grace for increased influence greater fire greater grace access to all the blessings of the spirit let it rest upon them in the name of jesus let that grace rest upon you 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 this family is blessed you are distinguished not only in asaba not only in delta state not only in the south south but across the nations i call you blessed this family continues to go from glory to glory nobody will die in this family in the name of jesus i pray that everybody who fights you goes down you will keep seeing the faithfulness of god i use them as a point of contact to pray for all the pastors and the leaders of in gathering global in the name of jesus as they rise you rise as god visits them he visits you this ministry will know no lack your children will not lack resources they will serve the god of their parents i bless you you will do ministry with integrity and with character you will go from glory to glory no weapon fashioned against you will prosper you are blessed and you remain blessed in jesus mighty name we pray give them a big god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you okay i'm told that there are people here who want to give and who want to sow i will just pray a general prayer and then you can do so once i leave it's important for those who i'm told that they want to give it's not about money so it's important that i speak over your life in the name of jesus all those who have come with seeds of all kinds to give whether it's to sow into this grace to sow into the ministry in whatever capacity i pray my god who is not a scammer who is not a fraudster who does not deceive or mislead men you have done this i presume willingly from your heart joyfully gladly and with faith may my god supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by christ jesus i bless you 
you will never remain at this level financially may God raise help for you you will keep going from glory to glory you will return by this time next year ten times better in Jesus mighty name we pray as about God bless you the Lord increase you and I love you in Jesus name